How come it took them so many uh, years of us doing this to finally realize, hey, we could just go on their Facebook <laughs> And just Facebook. destroy it. It's so interactive. Well, it really is. Uh, Facebook became very popular. It really did, yeah, yeah. So I didn't so know there was a Facebook got... page that you started reading those. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, hilarious. The morning show is trying to do a game. That's right. But they get interrupted. Oh, no. What's the game? And Jen, 748 and 51 degrees. It's time to play dead or... What? What? what, what happened? There's a picture of Jen who's holding a, a black penis. Wow, her. that's crazy. <laughs> she looks kind of hot. Yeah, she's cute. She's, well, she's also holding a, a, a wrecked black right. yeah. penis. Might not even be real. Might not even be real. I mean, real. it's literally as <laughs> bigger than her head is. To play dead or Canadian. It's very simple. We're oh. doing dead or Canadian too. Dead oh, or uh, Canadian. Dead or Canadian is a staple oh. of morning radio. <laughs> oh, <is it? laughs> I'm learning yes, so it much. Is. Yeah. I'm learning so much. There's probably a thousand radio stations that have done this bit. You, uh, you give blah, a name, blah, and then blah. then the caller has to figure out if it's a dead person or a Canadian. Right. Holy shit! They're not playing this. <laughs> so we really? posted pictures of. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan knocking down. The World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does this have to do with anything? But it's Hulk Hogan giving a big boot instead of planes crashing the towers. I like the I've never seen that He's before. doing his pose in the rubble. <laughs> That's hilarious. As if he defeated the World Trade Center. <laughs> Are you listening to the havoc that the Hulk is wreaking? I like he's got the hand behind the ear cock as he's standing in the rubble at ground zero doing the standing in the rubble at ground zero doing the I like the, the kick one the best. The oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He's about to hit the World Trade Center with a steel chair. And this is on their Facebook page. They're a Christian music session. That's hilarious. I bet they're getting some phone calls. I bet they're getting some phone Hey, you guys know what's going on? <laughs> Sam is literally crying. I'm crying. There's tears streaming down my face. This is the place that you've never seen. <laughs> Ever. In my entire life. <laughs> he's totally <laughs> gosh, gosh, tears. It's on his Facebook page and he's just knocking down the World Trade Center. He's getting with the chair. You can't take down the Trade Center with a chair. Hulk Hogan can. How did he get so big? How did he get such a big chair isn't his. <laughs> oh, my That's true. Even if he was that big, who would manufacture chairs that size? Like, Why would he do that? Why would he knock down <laughs> and the World Trade Center? Why would he celebrate the fact? And celebrate it as if somebody was going to cheer him. <laughs> Everybody was so upset that he day. wants to hear the cheers. Yes, he's. Oh, oh, that, that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Uh, that's on their Facebook. <laughs> that's the biggest laugh I've had all over uh, fucking time. Oh my my gun hurts. <laughs> Bobby and Anthony. Bobby and Anthony. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah. Good quality rock. Yeah, brother. We're on to a whole nother trip, man. Uh, during the hilarious. Facebook attack that we had nothing to do with. Right. We didn't, really. No, not at all. Uh, They're the going to do what they're going to do. It's a grassroots thing. You know, the listeners are yeah, they like to, upon themselves. They like to occupy Facebook pages, Anthony. Yeah. Fuck that Occupy Wall Street where you can <laughs> occupy yeah. someone's Facebook page. <laughs> not, uh, just, not just someone. Yeah. You know, right. And um, someone posted a picture we've never seen that has made us all laugh. Probably the hardest we have uh, laughed in a fucking long time, wow. man. Sam was actually crying. He was laughing Balling. so hard. Balling. I don't know who would come up with this idea to even do this. It's such a great idea, though. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's Hulk Hogan basically taking out the Twin Towers yeah. in a six-picture montage. Not the tag team, the Twin Towers. The building, uh, the Twin yeah, Towers. Yeah, the yeah, World yeah. Trade Center. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm assuming, uh, you know, that's the world champion right there. <laughs> yeah. The Twin Towers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're wearing a belt. You can see if you look closely. Yeah. I can see the belt. Uh, uh, <laughs> so the first picture... We're going to have Frankie Edgar in, uh, in a few minutes. But, way, yeah. Oh, he is? Okay. Uh, to the, place. the first picture is uh, the tower is on fire with the smoke, you know, the famous picture. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Hulk Hogan is ready to hit it over the fucking head with a steel chair. <laughs> he's rushing. He's running after no. this steel now, chair. Now, keep in mind, he is the same size, if not slightly larger, than the World Trade Center. Yeah, he's, right, about to right. he's about to hurdle the Williamsburg Bridge. Right. right. It's, a very, very <laughs> it's a fair match. It's a fair match here. Is. 
It is. It's not a goof match. But it's a handicap <laughs> match because there's two buildings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. It is a handicap match. But that second shot he gives him now. Yeah. The after big boot. the chair. He's giving him the big boot. The big Hulk Hogan boot. And, yeah. of course, it causes the building to burst into flames. <laughs> yeah, right. the big boot. And then uh, what appears to be uh, just a, a, a smoldering... Uh, uh, yeah, a, a plume of smoke coming up from Lower Manhattan. Because the towers have collapsed. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because and, of Hulk Hogan. And Hogan course. is now pointing and taunting <laughs> right. at the, uh, what, what right. used to be the, the Twin Towers. Well, he's hulking up as the Twin Towers yes. collapse. Right. From the Brooklyn side. He's over yeah, in Brooklyn yeah. now. Now he's back over in Brooklyn. <laughs> he's in Brooklyn now. He got across the river. <laughs> I, I think the fourth picture is what made Sam start crying because now he's looking for approval. Well, right. yeah, That's my favorite one. Is the, Norton's favorite was the big boot. <laughs> my favorite is number four with the list. He's acting as if people will be as happy as they were when he took out the earthquake. <laughs> right. <laughs> that they hated yes. the World Trade Center. And he's reaching to his ear with that palm as if he's going to hear a standing ovation that Hulk Hogan, with his big boot, <laughs> yeah. has taken down the World Trade <laughs> Why? Center. Why would he expect that? I mean, if people may not remember this, but when the World Trade Centers came down, everybody was so upset about it. Yes, yeah. no one was cheering. Not, not like one per well, not, not there, not anyway. There. Not here, no. Right. Now, uh, not the, even on the Brooklyn side. No, no, not even in the Brooklyn side. Maybe in Queens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then he's he's back in uh, Lower Manhattan. Somehow he got back across the river, uh, and he is standing in what remains. He's right, just the yeah. wreckage, right, the rubble, the rubble of the towers, and he's doing that thing where he makes he, he flexes his bicep and, uh, on one arm, mm -hmm. and then and then shoots his hand straight forward, up to heaven, straight up, <laughs> and, and yes. his facial expression. His bandana's off. Yeah, he's yeah. panting as if he's just been in the battle of his life, as if he's just finished slamming Andre the Giant in the Pontiac Silverdome. Right, right. As he stands in the rubble. He was in the people's battle. Yes. He did this for the people, obviously. <laughs> the, yeah. Clearly, clearly yes. for the people. Clearly for the people. Yes. And, then, uh, the, and then the last To <laughs> sum it up. <laughs> yes, the last picture. Which could be my favorite. This is the one we didn't discuss before. Yes. Right? Uh -oh. If you remember the uh, giant plumes of smoke uh, flying out from between the buildings as the People ran down the West Side Highway. Literally and running for their lives. Yes, running for their lives from the clouds of smoke that were now uh, coming from the buildings. Yeah. Uh, well, they're running. The smoke is there, but also the Hulkster is peeking around <laughs> the corner of the building looking very angry. No, and, and, and very angry <laughs> and confused, like, why would you run away from this? I did this for you. <laughs> and, uh, I just defeated the villainous World Trade Center Towers. <laughs> yes, and they're uh, having no clue that this might be a problem. <laughs> they're screaming, the people are screaming and running for their lives. He's looking around the corner like, what the yeah. fuck did I do to impress with me? Because in Hulk Hogan's mind, all the civilians Civilians and first responders <laughs> were the heels, and he was the baby face. Yes, he's the baby face. I, I'm now getting worried that this is a YouTube video. All right. I, I, I thought I've seen it all for the most part. I mean, this thing's been out there a while. How could this? And be also, uh, an update by uh, I don't know a bunch of people. I guess uh, the Facebook page is officially down. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. That's uh, <laughs> how many how many Facebook pages I now? Will, I just, that's the third one this week. Together again. Uh -oh. I don't know what. Oh, that must be still listening live. Uh oh. Um, Hulk Hogan attacks the World Trade Center. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, here it is. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the song. Well, the lyrics to the song are "I am a real American," and he's, but the visuals are the single most unpatriotic right. thing that's ever happened. Why is he rock laughing? What he? It is the photo montage. What's up, babe? <laughs> Why are you running away? I did this for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the look. I'm a hero. Look. There what is. the fuck's wrong with you people? <laughs> I'm a hero. I got it loose again. It's just a loop okay, of the same thing you tell me. It's still so, funny, man. So Hulk Hogan, the, <laughs> the way it worked was Hulk Hogan came <laughs> running towards the World Trade Centers with yeah. a giant steel chair. Yeah. He smacked Tower 1, and then Tower 2 got hit with the big boot. <laughs> As the towers were coming down, he pointed at them and started hulking up as if, you better not come back from that. Yeah. Then, as the towers <laughs> collapsed, he reached for his ear so he could listen to the cheers from the crowd. Yes. Uh, as the rubble hit the ground, he stood in the rubble and then posed <laughs> as if he was a hero. <laughs> and, then, hero pose. and then when the people ran away as they tried to live, yeah. uh, he peeked around the corner as if to say, where are you going? I did this for you. <laughs> 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 
Ah, uh, that Hulkster. Uh, he's just so rumor, rumor has it he's in the building today, too. Yes, he is in the it's building. Oh, God. We better, we better well, look no. out. He did Howard yesterday, and he's doing every show except Opie. He won't, he won't even show? He won't even, Hulk Hogan. He won't even do an interview with <laughs> no. me. No, no, enough no. already with this Hulk Why? Hogan. I don't know. I said, we, let we me record him. an interview with him, him. And it won't even air on Opie and Anthony. I'll put it on special delivery the off about? And they said... He wants nothing. I guess because we had his wife do. on, right? He's only hurting. I don't know. He's only hurting himself. It's his publicist, I think. We, we've had yeah, his whatever. dopey daughter on, on with her stupid music. Do oh, our God. fucking show. Is, you owe us at this point. Is it him or his publicist? I believe it's his publicist. Yeah, it might not be him. Uh, it's it's him. <laughs> <laughs> I know these things. We're I know the these things. <laughs> Listen, why don't we uh, talk to Double Rainbow guy for oh, a couple yes. minutes? He's on the phone here. It's Paul Vasquez. He's a huh? big, big fucking star, Paul. You're a big star. How's it going? Hi, Paul. Well, uh, obviously your Double Rainbow video is taking over the Internet. I mean, it's unbelievable how many fucking views this thing has. And uh, I, I, the, the, the only question I want answered, were you fucking high, Paul? Were you high when uh, you saw the Double Rainbow? I wasn't high for that for that uh, video. There is another video where I was high called Giant Intense Rainbow, and I've uh, admitted uh, all, all over the place where that I, where I was high on that one. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, you know, the message I want to get across is uh, there's nothing wrong with getting high, but you don't need it. Hey, Paul, right. it's, it's, it's Chip. It seems to me like you, you like rainbows the way some people like cupcakes or, or, or hats or something, you know? Yeah, that was in my front yard, you know. And uh, rainbows come to me on a regular basis. Uh, they probably had, I probably had twenty rainbows come to my front yard this year alone. <laughs> yep. Now, how many? You, you ever see like? Because uh, you, you, you was about the double rainbow. You ever see like four or five hundred in a row or something? Yeah, you know, I, I went up to Yosemite into Vernal Falls, and uh, yeah, they were just all over the place, uh, just like this last Saturday. Where's Jimmy gone? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I was wondering about that. Like, uh, why, why so emotional? If you have seen so many rainbows before, great question, Anthony. Great yeah, question. Thanks. I just thanks. finished writing a friend saying how I felt like I was Noah. Like, a, you know, I'm building a, an ark here because I have greenhouses and fruit trees and animals and I'm going towards alternative energy. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, so you're kind and, of a nature. Uh, I go outside nature and it's like the double rainbow, and then it's a triple rainbow, and then that whole thing fills in like a complete disc of color and it actually looks like a giant eye and then i'm oh. like that looks like god's eye so and that, oh. you know what i was experiencing that was the burning bush like moses i was in the presence of god right that's why i was so emotional that's you know, what it, was if so god. so it felt like you were uh on some kind of a uh, hallowed ground and you were that were you there you were there alone I was there by myself, yeah, and God had his eyeball on my ass. Now, now, now Paul, something we uh, we should have stopped you. You said you've seen a lot of rainbows in your in your front yard. Are, are yeah, you being yeah, are you being chosen? Place. Are you are you the chosen yeah, I one? So I believe so. For some reason, you know. What's it choosing uh, you to I do? Because what what is the, the what is it choosing you to do? Because the way you reacted. Like Moses, when the burning bush happened, he had a conversation and was like, okay, yeah. I'm going to free my people. What was, when you yeah. was just elated and happy, what was, it, it's telling you what? You're chosen to do what? Um, I'm thinking that I'm supposed to tell people that they need to connect to spirit, you know. I'm, mm. I think I'm like a pot-smoking prophet, you know. <laughs> uh, what, what does this mean to you? Four, uh, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Oh shit! Say that again. Four, mm -hmm. eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Nah, that doesn't mean anything special to me. Damn it! Damn it! All right, right. You almost Sorry. got your answer, Anthony. I know. <laughs> Uh, there's something is else. That, is that your favorite lottery number? Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> Hoping with the eye of God and. Oh, oh! Could you reenact? Uh, could you reenact uh, seeing that rainbow for us? So we could go. That's the guy. Uh, oh my God! Don't a rainbow full on all the way across the sky. <laughs> have you heard? Have you heard the song uh, that they made with the? Uh, yeah, the auto tune. Oh, yeah, I've, I've been hearing Where's that, that Danny? over and over. That is pretty good. We're gonna have to. Yeah, I, okay. I really like all that stuff. Yeah, of course. You did. Now, now, when you uh, did this, uh, could you ever imagine an internet sensation where you'd get millions of people watching this? 
Oh, what a great I question. Knew, I always knew this was coming. Yeah. Oh, you're dead? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Uh, oh, there is yeah, somebody, on the, somebody on the phone. Yeah, somebody on the phone, Paul. Yeah. Saw a big fan of yours. You know what? Another Paul on the line. Yeah, it's, Uncle uh, Paul. Uncle Paul calling in. Uh, Uncle yeah. Paul, welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. You got double rainbow guy on the other line. <laughs> Am I actually on the radio? Yes, you yes, are, Paul. Uncle Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Paul. My name's Paul as well. How are you? How's it going? Good, thank you. I uh, I teach second grade, and we was all watching your your video, and uh, there was a rainbow outside the window while we was watching it. You know, the kids. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Did you find that you got like a lot of emails from kids about the rainbow? <laughs> no, no. I get it's a, it's um I, huh? it's attracting people of all ages. Because a rainbow is something. So, what would you tell the kids about the rainbow if you could talk about it to them? Because oh, I'm not done asking the question. It's just something about, it's to teach you about love, I would say. But were you saying? Because I don't want the kids to get the wrong message that you was doing some kind of to drugs. Because I know when when you put certain things in their milk, they don't get up off the mat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, I wasn't. I wasn't done, done yet, Paul. You keep video. humiliating me. <laughs> Who is this guy? Well, uh, Paul, I, I mean. Second grade. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm outside. I'm in Ronkonkoma, mm -hmm. Long Island. And uh, we was watching your video, the rainbow video, because yeah. the kids love the rainbows. But I'm trying to get some insight yeah. into why you made the video. Oh, that's a good question, Paul. Oh, uh, cause it was there in my front yard. I had my camera and my, uh, sitting there on my coffee table. And I'm a photographer. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I like taking pictures too. Do you take yeah. pictures of, uh, just rainbows or outside? Or do you ever take pictures of, of, of you know, little people or something? <laughs> no, not Why like Why are you me. laughing so much? Are you on drugs? No, I'm not on drugs. Okay, cause yeah. you're laughing. It sounds a little strange. Um, <laughs> no, he's uh, Uncle Paul's. Yeah, you know, he's a regular to our show, Paul. Yeah, it sounds a little strange. He calls, there. He calls a lot. Yeah, he calls a lot. That was a great view. Where, where do you live? Yeah, where do you live, Paul? I live just outside Yosemite National Park. How far outside? Oh, but say yeah, with it. I'll go ahead. You talk. Air. I was just asking a question, but you go right ahead and plow over me. <laughs> <laughs> well, your time. Yeah, I tend to do that. Yeah, no, I know. It's all right. We don't all have courtesy and manners. You know, I'm just yeah. trying to call in, but you can just embarrass me in front of everybody if you want. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I can probably do that, yeah. Well, Paul, let him finish his... Knock you down. Let him finish I, his question, Paul. I don't know why you got to threaten, threaten me. I'm just trying to be friendly. Uh, have you ever photographed a whole lot of rainbows in a row before? What's the most you ever seen? Oh, uh, when I went up to Vernal Falls last Saturday, there was just dozens and dozens. Did you take pictures of, and video of them all and stuff? Yeah, I did. I put them on my YouTube page. Oh, I ain't seen the page. We only seen the one, the one rainbow video. It was very nice that you made. Oh it. man, okay, there's dozens ahead. Sorry, of rainbow I was videos. Yeah, yeah okay, I'll right just go ahead and talk over you. Yeah, I know. Who needs me to actually? Sometimes you mistake a semicolon for a period. <laughs> 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 wow, <laughs> what a bizarre creature that is. Well, are you high, Paul? Because he sounds no, pretty normal I... to us. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you guys have a weird sense of uh, of what normal is. Well, you know what? I call in once in a while because the kids like to hear it, and I don't like the salty language on the show, but it's an open forum for ideas and discussions, and we don't always have to obey the norms of society. Mm, wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Sounds you know, like a strange character. But sometimes when you see that little face light up, you just realize they've never felt anything like that before. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> That's really strange. <laughs> Keep mm. saying that. You're not really saying much, Paul. Wow. Yeah, it's a strange character you got there. Yeah, it's. A, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I was. Weird vibe. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I wasn't guy. trying to make up. You go right ahead and keep the argument going. I just wanted, <laughs> I just wanted to know why you know you're being 
You seem very confrontational to me, and I happen to like your video very much. Uh, no, uh, it's got you just got a really creepy vibe there. I'm honestly, I'm a good man. I'm 57 years young. I like to get out there and live life to the fullest. And we yeah. loved your video. It was charming, and your exuberance was very, very uh, catchy. <laughs> All the little guys was going crazy. Oh, I'm glad you liked the video. That oh, yeah, I liked great. it a lot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Sounds great. Well, um... Hey, do you worry about those geysers? Are they saying... Who the hell is this? Sorry. Patrice O'Neill. Sorry, it's Patrice O'Neill. I don't like anybody. He's got a girl's name. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice is a very funny comedian, uh, Uncle Paul. He's a, he's Sorry, a black man. comedian. Sorry, man. He's a what? He's a black comedian. <laughs> oh, okay. Just say comedian. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Paul. Listen, I, I just wanted to ask this guy a quick question. I want to ask Paul a question if you don't mind. Uh, what? I just wanted to ask him, is he worried about the uh, geysers and stuff they're talking about over Yellowstone? The big explosions. Oh, the big lava fields underneath the... Uh, yeah, Paul, my daughter's actually working in Yellowstone right now. But maybe that's some kind. Yes. Of, maybe that's some kind of warning, though. Maybe you you saw the warning. Maybe you got to get the word out that people got to get the hell out of that area. Yeah. It's about to blow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. I think everything's gonna be fine as long as my daughter's working there. Oh yeah. How old are you? Yeah. Yeah. How old the guy are you? I'm 47. How oh, old? you're only 10 years my junior. I'm 57 years young. Oh wow. How old you do? I I got kids. I'm estranged from. Due to false accusations. How about wow. you? How old are your kids? Uh, my daughter's 23. And my Whoa. Son's <laughs> <laughs> so she's 20, what? Three? 23, yeah. Wow. And already has a good career there, I guess, huh? Yeah, she's working for the National Park Service. Uh, and the Youth Conservation Corps in Yosemite, or in Yellowstone. I think it's important. I really do. We stress nature and the outdoors because I teach in the suburban area. But I try to stress the importance of nature and treating the environment with a certain amount of respect. That's pretty good. Yeah. How, how old was she when she started to get interested in the outdoors? Is that something recent, or did you teach her from, like, how old? Uh oh since she was uh when, since she was young yay yeah it's a really weird interview yeah yeah i i don't mean to be interviewing your subject i just wanted to ask some questions yeah well i think you did a fine job uh, uncle paul i think yeah, believe me i've been looking for a way to wrap it up <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think anybody in that room is strangers to beating a dead horse <laughs> Sometimes, Paul, people on this show just talk till the electricity runs out. Yeah. <laughs> well, Uncle Paul's a dick. I, I yeah. uh, Paul's uh, Gregory. Hold on, I'm talking to Greg. <laughs> you keep interrupting me while I'm talking to people. You're humiliating. Interrupting? <laughs> Yes, Uncle Did Paul. Did you know it? Why was Terry Schiavo on the phone? <laughs> How do you remember to feed yourself? You're an idiot. All right, well. All right. Uh, all right always, always, always leave him wishing you had left 45 minutes ago. <laughs> all right, Uncle Paul. Thank you, Uncle Paul. There, all right, Paul there Vasquez. Goes, uh, Paul so, Vasquez, yes. Very impressed by your double rainbow video. Almost a triple. Almost a triple rainbow. Almost yeah. triple rainbow all the way. And, it, and and it's something to do with God, you're saying, right? Yeah, it was God's eye looking I at him. I would think so. Yeah, the, you know, the, the one... <laughs> The one uh, video doesn't tell at all. There's a lot more videos on my YouTube page. Uh, oh. oh, really? What's yeah. your uh, YouTube page, Paul Vasquez? Hungry Bear not <laughs> I knew. Jeez. I fucking knew that oh. was coming. I smelt that one a mile away. Oh. He he was actually a nice guy, though. Yeah, was he? You I know, like Paul he gets Vasquez. a little emotional. What's his YouTube page? Let's plug him. Uh, nice. Don't worry about it. It's, yeah, it's right. doing uh, yeah, it's quite well. I know. I'm saying let's plug him. Like he's got five million views. All right since on the one this video. <laughs> 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 right. Hey, uh, Jimmy. 
While you were, uh, I don't know where you went. You were in the bathroom or something. Um, Mel Gibson's tape number five came into the yes. studio. Yes. I don't know if it's going to play because Sam was all excited running it in, and Danny decided he had to slap it out of his hand. So <laughs> I don't know if this is even going to play at this point. But I just meant to do it for fun. I didn't realize it was going to be so explosively loud. <laughs> it really did come apart. If you listen case. to the replay during the Uncle Paul phone call, you might hear a CD being smashed in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy, how excited are you for our, our first guest, uh, Jimmy? Is he on now? Uh, I, hopefully. Is uh, that him? All right, hold on a minute. We, uh, we're going to be talking to uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Mar. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Mar. Mar. Now, what is this book about? I, I just, I it, don't, dude, yeah, this is kind of crazy. This is like, this is, this is, this is terrific. I'm 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 proud that uh, we got him on today. It's uh, it's brocabulary. 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 Everyone. Brocabulary. The new yeah. manifesto. Yes. So it says manifesto Man. of dude talk. Yes. Oh, he See, can't it's hear a, us right now. It's brocabulary. Right. So, uh, like like I open this up and I see. A brologue. Oh, boy. It's like yeah. the brologue is mm -hmm. instead of a prologue. Sure. Called a brologue. Well, of uh, course. Uh, other things like bromunication. Mm. Yep. It's like communication, but uh, the way uh, guys do it. Bro, sure. It's like a guy's thing. Sure. You know. <laughs> how great is that? Because we've all, uh, you know, we all love talking like this. Yeah. Guys. It, it gets you the chicks. A manicdote. Yeah, well. Instead of an anecdote. Yeah. You know, things like that. What about and then you and then we get into some of the vocabulary like uh, <laughs> like Harry Olis. <laughs> we got let's get him on the phone because it's communication. Brutal recall. Well, we got to <coughs> we got to talk to uh, Daniel Moore. We're going to learn about Mantis. Look at this. Look, hold on. We're going to learn about MC Hammered. Dude, I got to tell you this. What? Brodal Recall yeah, is well. a bro's recall for what you did last night while hit shammered. Like hit shammered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I I'm actually looking at the 10, the ten bro man -mans. Yeah. The 10 bro man um, Where Can we get them on the phone? We are. Them. We're just setting it up. doodle brew. Because I got... Cockadoodle brew. That's a uh, beer that you uh, drink first thing in the morning. <laughs> what are what are the, what are these car like? What are these called? Where you have like the word and then the answer on the back. What are they called? Flashcards. Like kind of flashcards. We're gonna learn yeah. about community chest or chance. <laughs> right. We're gonna learn about uh, manalize. <laughs> oh, when you manalize something. Uh, a guy brewery. Uh, God damn this stupid fucking Jersey girl audio. Punxsutawney Jill. We're going to learn what that means in vocabulary. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> well, yeah. it's when, when a groundhog comes out of its hole and burns the other groundhog's <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, a master date. <laughs> oh, 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 good gravy. Oh, this is great. And a PDA hole. <laughs> good oh, that. God. Let's talk to Daniel Maurer. Yes, uh, author of vocabulary. Yes. A new manifesto of dude talk. That's right. Daniel. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, Welcome to the right. Opie and Anthony Show. Good to be here. Uh, we were uh, going through your your book, Brocabulary, the yeah. New Manifesto of Dude Talk. That's right. And uh, how did this come about there, Daniel? Let's start with the uh, the base. Yeah, what was the inspiration? Sure. Well, the inspiration, actually, I was at um, what I would call a douche donation. <laughs> What's that? The really You're... douchey, like, bars and clubs. And I was actually I was standing next to a shower girl, this girl, you know, washing in the shower. Yeah. Um, that's how douchey it was. And a guy, this guy called me a bromo. I actually uh, hadn't heard that one before. A bromo? What's a bromo? Word for bros who are so tight, they're almost homo. <laughs> and um, I started trying it out on friends of mine, and people were, were you know, kind of found it pretty hilarious. So yeah. um, I realized there was something to this uh, dynamic, you know, this... Uh, this dynamic. phenomenon of bros, or, or what I would call Guyanese twins, who are constantly attached and, <laughs> Jesus. and kind of are oh, attached to the liver, guy who are always, uh, you know, mm -hmm, drinking mm -hmm. together and, and go everywhere together. So, you know, I thought it would be cool to make up a, a kind of vocabulary for them that they could use when they're broing down. Yeah. Right, bro, bro down. What, what's a when you're broing down? 
Well, when you're broing it up, when you're when you're with your bros <laughs> and, and drinking and you know at the strip club, that sort of thing. I think you got a hit on your uh, hands here, Daniel. Well, I got, I couldn't get past the ten bro commandments. It's like commandments, but for bros. Exactly. Number one, I am your bro. Thou shalt not put hoes before me. <laughs> ah, um, bros before hoes has been something that's been said for a long time. That's true. That's, that's, yeah, yeah. Number I actually two, have a spin on no, that, though. Oh? I mean, it is, obviously, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of unreasonable. That's not going to happen in real life, and it's okay to ditch for a bitch. As, ah. long as, you, as long as you have a galibi, and a galibi is... A galibi. What's a galibi? Is that like, what is that? It's like an alibi oh. for not, the, an explanation for why you weren't with your bros. And it should never be romantic. It should never be chivalrous. You know, it mm -hmm. shouldn't be about getting a girl flowers. It should be about deflowering a girl. Right. You know, that, is, um, that is a proper galibi. Nice. And, and your bros should understand that. You know, the, the bros before hoes can go out the window if you've got a good uh, a, a galibi. Exactly. All right. So I'd just like to understand. <laughs> Oh. But um, yeah, you know, other other uh, more from the ten commandments. I mean, you you should um, you should uh, remember the Sabbath day. You know, to keep it wholly devoted to watching football. Um, you know, you should honor your mother and father. Obviously, no mother jokes. Um, mm. Why well, mother jokes could be fun, no? I don't know. I think they're a little played out, and that's kind of the idea, you know, behind the book that these words are a little played out. We need new words, you know. Mm. We've, had, uh, yep. we've had the same kind of wingman terminology for a long time now, so it's time well, to kind of. Well, speaking of uh, we, uh, men needing uh, needing new words, <laughs> let's go through uh, some of uh, some of your vocabulary here. Sure thing. Uh, which ones uh, would you like to do? Well, how, how about um, you hit us up with a word? You know, let's talk about the old words and the new ones. I mean, uh, we've had fugly for so long. Why not come up with new ugly words, such as uh, tugly, which is, you know, <laughs> when a girl is so ugly you'd rather just go home and tug it than hooking up. Ah. <laughs> Oh my or, God! Uh, you know, I got to tell you, uh, Daniel, we got a live audience today, and uh, they're definitely enjoying this. They're 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 uh, it's ugly. Yeah, you like uh, you like Daniel so far? Very good. All right, tugly. I like that. Well, what about wasted? I mean, you, you know, we've been using this word to describe a state of inebriation for so long. Uh, you know, we use it as like, time on this radio show. <laughs> now, what's that? <laughs> I said sometimes we use it as like time on this radio show is wasted. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, good we gravy. We need more specific words like slammed capped. That's when you're so slammed that you can't even like get your car keys out of your uh, out of your pocket. You need your bro to do it for you. I heard that. Or, oh uh, God. Do you really want your bro going into your pockets though? Yes. yes. You know, you know, you're, upper pockets. you're back to Bromo again. <laughs> Good gosh. I gotta make a call. Or oh, uh, right. when you're transvestite, tank, you're so tanked that you don't care whether the hooker you just picked up is a man or a woman. Yeah, transvestite tanked. Some people uh, don't need to be drunk to do that. Jimmy would be able to talk about that. Yeah. He's, uh, it, he's got business. Today. He's a very busy man, Jimmy. Yeah. I so. wish, uh, yeah, there was a word for 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 that. What is uh, what is I'm going through the vocabulary, Daniel. What's this uh, master date all about? Mm. Master date, of course, is a uh, a date, but instead of taking a girl, you're taking yourself out of your pants. It's uh, it's kind of uh. a, a masturbation session that's planned in advance. Like, let's say your girl is going out on uh, Friday night, and you yeah. you know that you're going to have uh, half an hour to yourself to kind of you know. Treat yourself to dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie, of course, being a porno and some nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Jeez. I'm there's, trying. To... There's a whole actual chapter of Spank Speak, which I'm really proud of. Oh, Spank Speak. Oh, Spanx. Well, where's that? I want to play along here at home. There, that's toward the, towards the end of the book, right near uh, Shitter Chatter. Shitter and, uh, Chatter. Spank Speak sure. is actually. Uh, you know, like masturbation. You know, when you're uh, masturbating while smashed. Which can uh, often uh, lead to a jack out, which is when you black out while you're jacking off. A jack out? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, my God. That was uh, uh, jacking there. this weekend, weren't you? Oh, my God. I was so hammered. I was, uh, yeah, I, I passed out right. dick, dick in hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it wasn't mine. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I'm, confused. Uh, yeah. I'm confused with uh, tear jerking. Tear jerking is, uh, you know, let's say you break up with a, a girlfriend, but you still have some holderoids of her uh, lying around. Uh huh. What, what, what's and, a uh, wait? What, what's a holderoid? A holderoid is just a polaroid of a, a hoe that you uh, went out with. Holaroid. Oh, oh all right. Oh I gotcha. God, all I right. get. Yep. <laughs> some of these are kind of painful. 
Um, but yeah, well. tear jerking is when you when you whip those out and and you're kind of um, you know jerking it to what I would call mornography, which is pornography of you know a girl that you're still mourning the loss of. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's a dark, dark place to be. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, let's uh, go to the phones and say hi to Steve. Hi, Steve. Hello. You're on with uh, Daniel. Steve. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Hey, Steve. How's it going? Is your book available in stores now? I, I, I actually like the bro bromunications and things of that nature. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. What exactly? It's, uh, it's is on Amazon. Oh, go ahead. You talk. It on the net. What, yep. what actually <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, inspired you to, <laughs> to do this? I think they asked that question, right? I don't, I don't know. I, I yeah. was listening. I was on hold. I'm sorry. Yeah, Steve, we, uh, we already asked him uh, that question, Yeah, for Steve. some reason, when uh, our listeners are on hold, Daniel, yeah. they don't get to hear the show. So yeah, maybe I, I maybe listening. you could humor uh, uh, Steve and just well, tell him real because, fast. Well, is it because, like, is this something, are these words that people are actually using? Like, did you create a lot of them? Um, hmm. What happened? Go. Yeah, I, I did create um, most of them, and, and the idea is to basically... What is your favorite one? I liked the the the, uh, the the holaroid and the other one of the the masturbation when the man passes out what is your favorite i like uh forensic evidence Ramon! tell this bag of shit to stop doing puns <laughs> Ramon! i'd rather give a bro job than listen to this shit stain that's pretty good Ramon! i hope this man dies of aids <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Ramon! He's suckly! He's ugly and he sucks! <laughs> oh. Ramon! I've read funnier leaflets at the DMV! Tell me when you're done. I'm just checking my email. Okay. <laughs> All right. I finished temporarily. What? All right, sometimes, uh, you, yeah. Sometimes I, these I, I, uh, the I'm callers slip through. Yeah. I like that though. Tell me when you're done. I'm checking my email. Yeah. Well. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, Daniel. Yeah. So, so where? Oh, uh, the Punxsutawney Jill. That was the one that uh, piqued our interest when we uh, were going through this. Uh, Punxsutawney Jill is, you know. What page uh, is that on? Hmm. I'm trying to find it. Wait a minute. Do you know uh, where that? Oh, I got it. Wow, what a coincidence! I just turned right to it. What page, Ant? Uh, it's a 143. 143. Okay. Yeah. You know, what's that one about? That one is, um, you know, when spring comes around and uh, you know a girl starts, starts wearing a kind of, you know, the first day of nice weather when she starts wearing mm. a mini skirt and by the end of the night, you know, she's shivering because uh, the weather has changed. She she comes out like a groundhog, but. Uh, Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you do a lot of these? Are these all like? Have you have? Do you have contributions, or are these all you? Uh, they're pretty much all me. I mean, um, there were people who chipped in a bit. Uh, my brother actually was was pretty good. He's the one who came up with uh, forensic evidence, which is when you wake up and your apartment looks like a crime scene because there's panties strewn all over the place, bras. You know, there's ah. you were a horn the night before. What do you call your brother? That would be a hard thing to come up with. A yeah. bro, bro. He's my true bro. He's my uh, flesh and blood. Yeah, but I mean, like, what do you call your brother in bro speak like that? In a vocabulary. Uh, you know, the bro of all bros. Just a bro, <laughs> yeah. Hey, has anyone ever told you that you sound exactly like Kevin Smith? Oh, my God, he does. <laughs> the voice actually is very similar. Yeah, do you know that? I didn't know that, no. Jesus. Oh, wow, now that's creeping me out. Yeah. yeah. Well... I like this. You got a whole thing here. It's like a, I like the uh, target. It, it's like activity she wants to butt in on, why you aren't having it, and your excuse. Like activity she wants to butt in on watching the game, which everyone's had to deal with. If you try and watch the game, and she's gonna put her face in there. Why you aren't having it? Because she'll be like an annoying two-year-old asking, "Daddy, what's a touchdown? What's a fumble? Oh. What's a pig skin? Oh, Uncle Paul. Yeah. And uh, your excuse is you're superstitious for 20 years. You haven't let anyone whose first name starts with whatever her initial is watch the game with you because it jinxes the team. Yeah. This includes your mom. Sorry, babe. I know it's crazy, but that's just the way it is. But when my team wins, I'll buy you a milkshake. For the woman or for the kid? That's an example of a jersey girl, which is a girl who um, mm. who doesn't really follow football. She just wears the jersey just to kind of bro along with her boyfriend. <laughs> ah. Um. Oh, I like that because I was just at a hockey game, and you you see those uh, those chicks. 
Yeah. They're irritating. Yeah, they're, they're just like the quarterback, you know, they, yeah. they're the ones who love... Uh, well, that's why they came up with the pink version of the jersey, so the chicks could yeah. wear the pink Yeah, and the hats and all that yeah, shit. You know. What's a manti? Mantis are uh, panties that um, that you would wear after hooking up with a girl when you um, when you're uh, you know don't have fresh uh, tidy whities at your disposal. And that's an example of a word that you know I kind of made it a mix of uh, things that guys actually do and that guys would never do in a million years, uh, not sober anyway. Yeah. Mm. Just to kind of keep the girls guessing, you know, women who read the book, I think their uh, reaction a lot of the times is, "Do guys actually do this stuff?" Right. And um, you know, they yeah. have to kind of figure out figure that out with their boyfriend. How come you have guy dolls, acceptable guy dolls, yeah, and false guy dolls? Those are guy dolls. Oh, like oh guy, idols with a guy. Idol. Oh, I see. I get it. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, guys that you look up to, your uh, your heroes. You know, uh, like Brad Pitt and like, stuff. Like uh, Chuck Norris. You know. Well, acceptable. Like they you yeah, kind of compare and contrast. Hockey players are acceptable. Mm-hmm. Uh, ice skaters are not. Yeah. Hard drinkers like Bukowski are acceptable. Sure. Deep thinkers like Plato are not. Um, Scott Peterson's acceptable. Mm -hmm. Nice husbands are not. <laughs> Jake Lamana's way of problem solving is acceptable. <laughs> Talking things out or not. Do you know any lines from like? Do you know any like uh, Silent Bob lines? You asking me? Yeah. yeah. No. Is this Kevin Smith? <laughs> no, he does sound like Kevin, but it's not Kevin. How do you know? Okay, I'm reading this. <laughs> it's not Kevin. No one else has told you you sound just like Kevin Smith? I've never heard that, no. Are you doing like a Seinfeld when Seinfeld like put out a book, and but it wasn't under Seinfeld's name, but then everyone found out it was Seinfeld? Did he really do that, like Stephen King with Richard Bachman? Yeah, he did a little of that, right? <laughs> How long did it take you to actually uh, to, to write this? Uh, it's hard to say. It didn't take, um, you know, it took about a year. That's it? Wow. It took about a year. There was a lot of uh, procrastination involved. <laughs> but, um, uh, that was procrastination. It's obviously that, a, that's more actually, wordplay. But. That's very clever because a lot of us, we have things to do, but we ended up spending time jerking off instead. Procrastination. So it's fucking mind-boggling. Right. Jimmy can relate to that. I can. What's a, what's a dude in him? A pseudonym is, um, you know, like McLovin. It's your pseudonym that refers, you know, guys never call each other by their real name, so, you know. No. Yeah, that's true. You gotta have a pseudonym. You also have a brudonym, like, What's uh, your you know, dude Abraham again? Drinken, who makes a uh, inebriation proclamation. Ah. Uh, uh, four whores and. Better than the real ago. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is, what is your, uh, but what is your dudenum? Um, I go by, uh, Danimal. 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 You're know, the nice. Danimal. Uh, I also had a career as a competitive eater, nice. and uh, I was yeah? referred to as the fly because I was on food like a fly. I, that, uh, they called I had me retire, that when a dominatrix but... shit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it happened. Danimal. Jim, what's your like manly name? What's that? Do you have like a Danimal name? No, I've actually never. I never had one. I, I really. I've, Really? Yeah, I would love to have like a. I, I can mean, you give one to, to Jim? Like, can you work off the name Jim? Is it always off the name, or is it also yeah. off behavior? Yeah, that's a good. It's question. usually uh, it's usually off behavior. That's the brutonym would be like you know your your behavior while you're drinking. You know. Uh, oh wow. If you're uh, Jim aside, you know you could be like <laughs> Saddam Hussein or. Uh, I want to be, you know. Anthbrony. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not... kind of cool, right? I could be like, hey, Anthbrony. I'm bagless Jimmy. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, the thing with a name like Jim, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty manly to begin with. So yeah. Yeah. you spell it G Y M. Your gyms or your Jim Joe. the Shim. <laughs> <laughs> you can only go down from there, like Shit. Jimmy or, or Joey or. Or uh, like I, I sometimes I like to go to the Jimmy Nasium. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Nasium would be good for <laughs> hey, you. That's nice, manly. See, that's why mm. we're not writing the book, and Daniel is. Our our yeah. stuff is lame compared to this. Uh, Guy Bernation, we did that one right. Gibernation is when you shut yourself asshole. in, you, uh, you don't, you know, you, maybe you've bro deed, you've over deed on your, you're overdosed on your bros, and you just kind yeah. of uh, go and you pump your stomach. Come. <laughs> Rod Stewart bro deed. <laughs> yeah. Robert Reed. Yeah, they all did, sure. <laughs> uh, wow, this is uh, pretty good stuff. The, uh, the cup grade, what's that cup grade? Cup grade is when you're dating, you know, a B cup, and you, uh, you cup grade to another. She turns girl. 15 and. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, and you get a chick. I actually like chicks with smaller tits, though, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, I guess They're much better fit shaped. They mm -hmm. are. And uh, much they, firmer. Easier to bite. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, there's a whole chapter on tidiosyncrasies. <laughs> tidiosyncrasies? <laughs> uh, how do we not know? What page is that on? You got, um... <laughs> You got the scariolas, which are areolas. <laughs> Scariola. Are so big, they're scary. See, I actually like that. I like a big, I like a big Do brown you? one. Yeah. Do you? I want to look like someone mushed <laughs> diarrhea on their kids. <laughs> Dude, you I'm what, so uh, with you, you on that what, one. What I like are the gripples. Used to, the, which are, uh, oh, the grip? Wow, well, you wow, What's what the gripples? You could grip. You know. Oh, I like oh, that. Oh, yeah. I like the thing that's gripping. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. What, what else about the breast? Because it's amazing. Everyone's yeah. got different breast taste. Tidiosyncrasies. Yeah. Well, there's also um, Jimmy. the man you know, no, no offense to guys who uh, who like smaller breasts, but there's also gay yeah. cups. You ever hear Olivia Newton gone? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're talking about tidiosyncrasies, of course. <laughs> oh, just having some fun. Good gravy. Hello? Yeah. 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 Tidiosyncrasies. Tidiosyncrasies. We're just trying to come up with our own, oh, just to have yourself. some fun with this. It goes floodgates. What were you saying about uh, something? Uh, oh. What was the one you said just before that? Uh, the one be for for uh, a guy who likes a smaller uh, smaller breast is a gay cup, which is eight ah. cups that are so small they make you feel gay. When oh, oh yeah. there's nothing there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are a little rough. <laughs> We're seeing flat as a plate. Yeah. But, uh, I never, I never, I never thought gay in that in that case. I always thought like underage. Well, you think yeah. underage. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle well, S. from it's well, Kyle S. from it. Indiana wants to help you with what's what's the what's the chapter called? Tidiosyncrasies? Yeah, well, Kyle S. Uh, from Indiana, Christina Applegall. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything about? Because I like larger vages. Do you have anything like about clits or anything ah, like that? Yeah. Ah, uh, there is. Yeah. Like a clitoris uh, is like a clit that belongs on a dinosaurus. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. Jimmy likes the big ones. He likes the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. Anything okay. like, a, so like an elephant there's trunk? There's like the clidiot who doesn't know his way around. <laughs> oh, <the pussy. laughs> a clidiot. I like that. All right. I like that. God, you have a million of them. You have there's anything? A, yeah, I guess there would be clidiosyncrasies. I, I, yeah. Maybe I'll save that for the... Uh, yeah, yeah. When, when we're not filming movies. <laughs> you should write something about like a, the smell under the hood. <laughs> hey, you yeah. got anything on the shitter? There's an entire chapter of Shitter Chatter. Oh, Shitter, shitter Chatter? chatter? Exactly. Shitter Chatter. Shitter oh, Chatter. Like, okay. That's, that's not too much uh, like Shitter that's Chatter. like when you yeah. overpopulate the bowl, when the bowl is uh, overpopulated. Oh, uh, when she says she's gonna, she hasn't taken a suppository, <laughs> and she has, the next thing you know, it's all over your chest. <laughs> and then you got to pay her. <laughs> uh, believe me, she's not even the Russian that was in the ad. <laughs> Excuse me, madam, you put wet hay on my chest. <laughs> Ma'am, someone spilled goulash on my chest. I'm paying for a solid log here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I don't want to pay for fucking jerk chicken all over my fucking chin and neck. <laughs> uh, what about uh, you got blocabulary? Now this is good because the you know us guys we like the we like the blowjob. Is that right? what you're doing? You're out with your friend Cabulary. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that could be good for the second book, sir. Uh, what's some of the blocabulary you like? Blocabulary. Um, well, there's the blowjob legation when you do a um, when you do a favor for a girl, you you help her move or something, you change her tire, and she owes you a blowjob. She's blowjob obligated. To you. Oh, blowjob oh, obligated. Nice. Very clever. That's right. Yes. So is that like when you drive someone like far from home, and you say uh, suck it, or you're gonna walk, or or you're gonna end up in a shallow grave? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not quite. I wouldn't take it that far. What's oh, of course saving not. your life with a sucking? That's called. <laughs> you wanna you wanna explain uh, chaps dick? Uh, chapstick. What I like to put in my mouth. <laughs> a chapstick is a. a oh, come on. Oh, that's hilarious. What's what's your definition of chapstick? A uh, chapstick is just a dick that you rub on our lips, like chapstick. Yeah. It's yep. pretty pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. I uh, my favorite in the in the blowjob. Um, oh boy. You know. 
uh, chapter is Maxell when you're uh, like the Maxell guy, the Maxell cassette guy who is leaning yeah. back in the yeah. a leather mm. chair. Yeah. Um, oh, right. Like how, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you getting blown away? I always thought that like when a guy was, what, what, what's the point of that one? Is like that she's queefing on you and your hair's blowing back? <laughs> Dude. Uh, no, that, just that you're in a comfortable chair, you know. Yo, uh, a nice leather chair. But how come the wind's blowing in the man's face? Because it's a blowjob. It's like he's listening to music during a tsunami. Because he's actually getting a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I like your. I, I want to read this because this is very clever. No, right. Eating disorder is uh, an eating disorder that's specific to cockaholics. Yeah. I've never seen someone with such an eating dis disorder. She was a total penis fly trap. Jesus. Oh, they like that one. Did you reread this and go back over and find ones you missed? Like, yeah. if you would write one, would you go back over and like have somebody reread it and go, well, look, you could change this word, you could change that word? Like, how many passes through did you do? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, I did, I did uh, right. you know. With you know, with any manuscript, you reread it, you add some more words. Right. It did get very pun heavy, which is why it might be described as punishment. Oh, nice! You know, there's no yeah. there's no avoiding puns if you if you're doing guy talk. You it know, is. it's a crucial, you got, uh, crucial yeah, it's element. True. You got a lot. Grape. Of them, I like I like. <laughs> what, how, why would why would bros why would bros care about a boomer wang? You know, that's going. <laughs> you've never. I mean, you've never watched porn and seen a dick that was exactly like you. That, well, that's a doppelwanger. The boomerwang <laughs> boomer is like that's in. I think that's in the um, the uh, you know spank speak chapter. It's just a, uh, a curved penis. You know, there needs to be a word for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I like this one, catheter. Yeah, we're all going Someone who's a worse than a pain in the ass, they're a pain in the dick. Yeah, uh, you could also call them penile cancer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, wait, does cracktivities? What's cracktivities? Cracktivities just any activities related to uh, the smoking of crack or you know, yeah, other yeah. sorts of cracks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's a give yourself a grinspection? That's uh, when you have a bangover. Uh, bangover is when you uh, wake up after a night of excessive banging, and you want to make sure that you're. Uh, you know, not too obvious when you roll into the office. You want to, you know, uh, give yourself a grin inspection, make sure there's no short and curlies in your uh, in your teeth. Wow, well, it never oh, happens to boss. me. Yeah. They, they don't have hair yet. <laughs> 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 Got to give you a dick one, make sure the braces haven't torn it. <laughs> and by those, I mean the ones on our legs. <laughs> I love a polio kid. Yeah. <laughs> what are they gonna do? It's a good day for him. Hey, uh, a girl on a whore path. What's that all about? Um, what's a whore you know, path? She's on the war path, but it's, oh, uh, war whore. Oh, I get it. Yeah. All right. Mm. That's. I think that's an example of uh, when you're having a retargument, which is a retarded argument with your girlfriend. Ah, uh, well, isn't that anything? Yes, or a discussion with a retard. <laughs> which is always fun. Don't put your tongue in there. <laughs> <laughs> what's a bathlete? A bathlete is, a, you know, that would replace the word right. metrosexual, which is kind of tired, but a bathlete is just someone who's an athlete about right. bathing, grooming. You oh, they men around bathhouses. <laughs> a bathlete's a guy who can who can uh, <laughs> go from bench to bench in the bathhouse and yeah. fucking drink out of mules we got at you. <laughs> this, uh, this book is... <laughs> <laughs> Always goes there. Oh, no. oh, shit. Christina Apple less. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no apples. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We just we we laugh at ourselves now, clearly, a lot. Yeah, the room. book really should be more of like a Wikipedia thing where people can uh, can tweak entries and and uh, kind Ooh. of make their own. Um, yeah. yeah. You got, a web, you got a website, do you? Drill pill. What's it? No, it's a drill pill. Yeah. That's probably like Viagra or something, right? like Viagra. Yeah. Yeah, if you're, oh, yeah. see, I went with Flintstones chewable. <laughs> if you're about to commit Viagravated assault, uh, you definitely... Oh, oh yeah, Viagravated assault. That's kind of like aggravated assault, but with your dick out and a hammer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this book is... Um, all right. 
Uh, but yeah, if you want to go to the website, if you want to suggest word words, um, go to www.brocab.com. And people can suggest words at brocab.com? People can write in. Oh, that'd be um, terrific. This, this, uh, can they post them? Absolutely, yeah. I, I can post them for them. But... Oh, people can't just go post? Your Our listeners are very interactive. Uh, you can comment, but um, probably the best way is to just email me, and uh, I'll put them up. All right, what's the... Um, yeah, what's your email address? What's, no, what's, what's the, uh, what's the website? Uh, yeah. If you just go to uh, brocab.com, you'll, uh, there'll be like an email me button. Okay. Are you uh, planning on selling a lot of these? <laughs> That's the plan, yeah. Have you gone out and done book signings and stuff like that? Um, not yet, no. I have, um, I have put my uh, blotograph on a lot of them, which is when you, uh, oh. you sign your credit card when you're totally wasted. What's it called? Blotograph. Why the blot, though? Well, you're blotto. You're totally blot. Oh, 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 oh yeah. okay. Yuck. What is this, a shot glass put? Shot glass put is um, there's advice on when you get into a neander brawl in a bar, when a bargument turns into a neander brawl, and uh, you're going to want to use like the Kiwiville slugger, like the uh, pool cue mm -hmm. that, you, uh, that you slug someone over the head with. Shot glass put is, you know, you take a shot glass and heave it like a shot put across the room at someone. Um, so there's a lot of brawl, but, uh, bar brawl advice. What is the, um, what? what's Flack Friday? Yeah. Black Friday it's is, amazing, you know, by the way. You actually remember all these offhand. I know. It's amazing. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm kind of amazed myself. It's like you don't but, have uh, a job or something. Black Friday is like fri Friday rolls around. Your girl wants to be with you. You want to be with your boys. You're going to get flack from someone no matter what you do, whether you see the chick flick with her or you see the dick flick with them. Mm. You know, someone is going to be pissed off at you. Wait, chick flick with her or a dick <clears throat> flick with them? Yeah, she wants to go out and see the what new, like, you know, Tyler Perry movie or something. Jeez. Your guys want to go out and see the new Die Hard movie. You know, you're damned if you uh, do. You're damned. Well, if yes, you know. you're damned if you do, and you're 1985 if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if you're in a bad relationship. So, um, be able to tell her like, if how long was it? I want to see this. Friends, how long was it till your uh, bros told you, all right, enough with the fucking puns? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering when you're going to tell me that. No. Oh. no. Yeah. They, uh, they, um. Brian from St. Louis, Melissa Lessridge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's definitely to be taken in small doses. Keep it by the toilet. Read it, you know, mm -hmm. one entry at a time. Oh, yeah, run that's out of toilet paper. That's true. Shitterature. That's, uh, the book you put by the ball, right? 217 okay. pieces of. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, where are you actually? Are you a New Yorker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> what did you say? Keep it by the what? And I forgot. What did you by, say to keep it by, by the shitter. Oh. Or the, um. for breakfast a sponge <laughs>
Yeah. Ah. Mm hmm. Is he gone? It's known as the urinal oh. book. No. Still hanging. Cool. Sorry for the uh, interruption. I no problem. Oh! <laughs> Ew. Never seen anybody uh, go that long. It's amazing. Mm hmm. <laughs> Right. So, what's a slurchus? <laughs> slurchus is, uh, you know, when you're at the bar, you're making a... Uh... Oh, oh, <laughs> go away. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. The book is fun while you're in a bookstore and you browse it for 30 seconds while your chick's buying a book or something. Oh, my God. How do you piss for so long? <laughs> Amazing. Like fucking holding that in since last year? Jesus. That's probably what's wrong with your shoulder. You're holding piss all yeah. the way up to it. Piss. Oh. That's uh, that's some oh. hazard waste now. <laughs> wow. That is that like... Whole, that whole garbage pill has to go. All right, why don't we take a break? Just, that was wonderful. Well, not to piss, apparently. Well, unless you're not done yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we'll take a little break. <laughs> uh, what a uh, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong with Joe Biden. He's uh he's speaking live on TV and he's got like hair plugs that he didn't go for the what? He ran out of money or something? He's one of those guys that ran out of money, right? Now, that looks like he went with hair plugs, which, uh... Bro plugs. He did that a bro, bro plugs. plugs. Oh, hair bros. <laughs> hair bros. Yeah, it doesn't even have to make sense. Yeah, there you go. I like how you turned his book into a urinal cake book. What did someone said? I, I turned his book into the yellow into pages. Into the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you were. Yeah. Great line. You took a bro vis on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I was well, I was going to try to work off boredom. Brodom? Brodom. I was brodom. That's when uh, your bro is sucking on your scrotum, though. Yeah. <laughs> give, give, I've given you some brodom. <laughs> Teabagging your bro. Yeah, as what? The, the it, Broman war helmet. What's it's when you lay your balls on your bros fucking the bridge of his nose, the what, bridge of his bros. What's uh, what's uh, what's teabagging your 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 uh, bro called? That's uh, tea brogue. No. What? It's called gay. <laughs> it's called <laughs> fucking gay. <laughs> Should have known that. Yeah, Biden looks like. He went with, uh, like, the old-school hair plugs where they took, like, a cookie cutter mm -hmm. and, like, cut big fucking rings out of your head and then put them in the front. Mm -hmm. And then he just combs that over. Like, he's got a comb over and plugs. Well, you got to comb it all the way to the back. Well, that's what he... But he can't. It doesn't look like he could grow it that long. So he's got, like, a, a four-inch <laughs> part on one side, and then the back is showing. Yeah. And then he got his eyes done. Like, you said he got an eye job or something. He looks like a newborn puppy. <laughs> you know when a newborn puppy, it's it, it's all wet and everything is slicked back, slicked back, the face and everything, because it just yeah. squished through the, the the cunt of the dog, <laughs> the doggy cunt. He looks like he's wearing a pharaoh helmet. <laughs> <laughs> he's just and he just he's he looks a, like the meanest son of a bitch. Got him. I I bet you he hates women. Just a, yeah. He's well, a, we can only hope. He's a, a woman. He looks hater. like a meanie. He just looks like either a, 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 the dean of boys at a school or, or that fucking supervisor at work that just is constantly bitching at you. He wants to be the vice president. Yes, oh, right but on. he can't be. You think he has bad breath? Because no. he looks like he has dentures and stuff. They probably so you think it's like well. coffee and cigarettes or something? And then his eyes don't close because he had eye work. And then he's got the, the chicken neck. He's got neck. the chicken neck coming out the waddle. <laughs> coming out the top of his tie. Yeah. Those suits, old men, when they got to wear that suit, it just pushes everything up above the tie and collar. Yeah. It's the big thing. It's actually his navel. Hey, this, <laughs> before we move on to our next bit, because we just go from bit to bit to bit around Yes, here. we do. Yeah. Uh, 
Hold on a minute. Well, someone's trying to make a sh uh, Cheryl No joke instead of Cheryl Crow. Mark Did Lawrence you? from Houston. I think so. Uh, Jamie oh. Hughes from Tom's River writes, that asshole made me want to bro my brains out. <laughs> 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 bro. <laughs> Mike in Delaware, Ramon, this guy's a bromosexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we did that. Uh, Tim C. from Cleveland, I'd like to be teabagged by my bro. His balls smell like my brunt, bro, uh, bro, uh, bro uh, onions with bro in front of it. Help me here. Bro, a brunion. Bro, 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 <laughs> right. How about a a, a rusty trombone? <laughs> Chris C. from Virginia. That fucking douche in his bro book. Well, P. Bone, P. Bone writes from Tampa. He could get some gel and make a bro hawk. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, bro Biden. Mm. His book fucking bros. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on a minute. You guys, you know, we have to continue with this. Jeremy from Jersey. Yes, Jeremy. Good morning, shit dicks. Hey. hey, Biden probably should have used some bro gain. <laughs> <laughs> A little bro gain. <laughs> but now he's doing the brome over. <laughs> Didn't someone call Master Poe Master Bro today? Master Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Bropey. <laughs> and Manthony. And Manthony, yeah. That's right. And Faggot. <laughs> oh. Well, I can't think of anything for Jimmy. Oh, How Jim. about just this? How about? <laughs> it's, it's the uh, Bropey and Manthony show. Yeah, Bropey uh, and Manthony. That's who we should change it to. I'm Him Norton. Him Norton, yes. <laughs> him Norton Man. Yeah, Him Norton Man. And Manny. <laughs> Manny is. Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, this is fucking awful. This is wonderful. Oh. And who else do we have? Travass. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, we still got lots more stuff, and don't forget about the mystery box. What's in the mystery box? I, well, I didn't take a peek. At the end of today's giveaways, yeah. if any of the fans are unhappy with their prize or prize pack, oh. they're allowed to trade it in for the mystery box, which has mouse shit on top of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Look at his feet. What yeah. happens when they all trade it in? <laughs> don't, don't fix them. They, yeah, yeah, his feet are they're fucked up. They're crazy yeah, you're fucking. fucking. You know what? You're going to get hammer toes. That's yeah. what happens. Yeah. Really? That's what yeah. happens. You what get you? hammer toes out of that. Yep. Why didn't your parents do what the right... What have I right... done? Why didn't, the what parents... I done? <laughs> Why didn't your parents do the right thing and get, and get you the and shoes... And abort with... you. With the... <laughs> <laughs> Get you the shoes with the bar. There's nothing wrong. I'm I, had, I had a family up. member that had the shoes with the bar to straighten that shit out. You need fucking Forrest Gump braces yeah. to straighten those feet out. <laughs> That's right. Right. You already have his mentality. You know what's funny is he's trying He's trying to straighten them out. That's I as know. close as he can get them. It's not even yeah. working. Now his knees hurt. <laughs> yeah. He straightens them out. His fucking ears flop out more. <laughs> fucking... I'm, I'm gonna get He's definitely pulling some fucking ligaments out. I want to get a get him on a ski slope, man. Just fucking snow plow the entire shit. day. Jesus, dude. I think Enough that's snow plowing. I'm telling you, when your get feet speed up, when your feet point out like a that, ski it, joke for everybody. Thank you. It means you're in pain of some sort, and you're avoiding pain. Like your 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 body's just doing that so it doesn't hurt. So what you need is you need some kind of corrective orthotics. And that will help your feet get straight because you're obviously with the, your arch or something's all fucked up. Doctor Norton, I'm telling you, because I went to a, a podiatrist and she made me walk, and she looked at me and she knew what was wrong. She's like, "Okay, you having problems with this one?" I could tell because it yeah, kicks out a little. Yeah, because you're fucking limping. Yes, and I kept going, "Ow!" and pointing at my right foot. And she said, "I bet it's the right one." Why don't we do? Fuck your face. She's a sharpie. <laughs> she sure is. Why don't we give Sam like the the Kathy Bates thing? Oh, hobble him? Yeah, let's hobble you. Why? Because hobble you. Just to get him back <laughs> Why? straight. <laughs> Why? All right, Sam. I don't want to be hobbled. Does it feel weird to stand like that? Yeah, really Speak weird. Speak straight like I'm right. like a human? Stand, stand normal like you are normally. Thing, You're a bow-legged no. zilch, too. His fucking, he's got, like, fucking lasso legs. <laughs> I wonder if he wants to open her. Hey, fucking cowboy Sam. You look like one of those plastic cowboys you took off the horse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, they and they could, stand never, stand, they could no. never stand up once you took them off. He's just standing there. He's all fucked up. Uh. <laughs> Hey, you uh, got Captain Morgan legs. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, why don't you give out? It, it would make me very happy. Could you give out one of the copies of the Bromance book, please? I thought we were giving it. One person gets all of them. Don't well, correct open. I just want to make sure these people are all 
walk away with something. Yeah, All right. Exactly. Unless he rock can find more shit in our office to give away. Mm. No, this what, is... Explain the bromance. Give away himself. <laughs> yeah. Explain the bromance book to Bill Burr, please, our guest in studio. This sounds great. Well, this is it. like... It's At the almost... Trump Marina Saturday night? Yes, he is. <laughs> it will Sorry. help you... This Saturday, yes. It will help you gain a bromance. Bill Burr it's called Brocabulary, yeah. and it's called The New Manifesto of Dude Talk. Mm -hmm. And it kind of... Why don't you willy-nilly just open it up and give uh, Bill Burr... Any example. page is a treat, I, 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 so I don't I love, even have to I look. love like, these, these kinds don't of books. They are kind of fun, right, Bill? Yeah, oh, yeah, my God. Oh. Anytime they're up by the cash register, I just they're a hoot, Jim, yeah. as you would say. Impulse buy. Like, if I was like, damn, bro, you're a real flirtuoso. <laughs> oh that would be like a virtuoso when it comes to flirting, but... It's for dudes. I'll tell you, that street slang, it's like I can never, quite, I can never quite pick it's it up. It's amazing. A flirtuoso. This is just like talking like the black guys. And you talk to <laughs> it's your, beautiful. You talk to your bros like this, right? Yeah, right. All right. Give All us right. another one there, Sam, please. Um, you could say climaximum overdrive, <laughs> which is the point just before you come when you start doing her in double time. Oh, shit. Oh, oh man. man. Fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, is this the one I peed stuff. on? Yes, yes, this would be the one. This is the famous, not not this exact book, yeah. although that would be wow. hot. That's Bill, what's hot in the mystery box. Do, do, they, do they have cues in there where you're supposed to high-five after you say <laughs> that dumb shit? Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Come on, brah. Up top. <laughs> Bill, we had oh, the author on the phone, and while he was still on the phone, I peed on his book. <laughs> <laughs> it's mic'd, and all you hear is God, <laughs> the fucking <laughs> piss hitting I really book. miss doing this show. I gotta get that shit <laughs> in my car. I swear <laughs> yeah. to God. And then, of course, we had to go, are you hearing this? Do you hear this? <laughs> Being animals. Okay, one more, Sam. Well, you might talk about your stallywhacker. Oh, what's a stallywhacker? Which is a tallywhacker yeah. that's as big as a stallion's. So it's like you have a really big penis. Oh, holy shit, is that awful? That's a book? Why is that the anti-pussy book? book? Is what? that what it is? Yeah. And why is Sam closing the book when this is going so well? Sam, What's wrong there's some with big you? laughs in here. Let's go. We've some got more. some laughs going. The gang's out there enjoying them. And you're a fan the of the bromance. We all learned that. Because yes. his knees are swollen from actually having his feet straight <laughs> yeah, for half a second. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> his feet are broken. <laughs> broken. <Yeah. laughs> hi <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yay. We'll be back after these messages. Oof, that joke was broable. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? <laughs> oh, Sam uh, gave me the nod like he found a really good one. Go ahead, yeah, Sam. More yeah. bromance vocabulary. Like sometimes when you're talking to a girl in a bar and you see another one that's a little more busty, you need to make a cup grade. It's to upgrade Jesus to a girl with a bigger Christ. bra size. Jesus, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> this is fucking painful to listen to. It's hurting me somewhere. Just the sound. Mm. And, and then the thought. How does this hurt? How do you get pain from somebody? So Olivia Newton-John broke a teacup? <laughs> Can we go to break with me pee on this guy's book? <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Huh? We played it today. That's part of a production piece. Okay. Yeah, but can we just play uh, the uh, oh, raw audio? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if they could find it real fast, because that would be a great way to go. <laughs> Just <laughs> the sound of pee on his dumb book. Go ahead, there. Man. Well, like when you're hanging with your bros, yeah. and like yeah. down in beers, yeah. if you down one and just slam it down on the table, you might say, Dude, you just committed brutanasia. This is, how can this what? be real? <laughs> Like, I want to hang out with this guy just to see if he t tries to use it just to try oh, to get yeah, some yeah. sort of conversation about his book. Yeah, yeah, oh. and, and like get it into the 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 yeah. culture, popular culture. How many pages of this shit? I don't know. One is too many. Oh. There's a leaflet. This would bother me. You should have a listener memorize as much of this book as they can and actually go out to a bar and just try to hang out and meet. You know, and go, hey man. <laughs> You just committed euthanasia, oh. <laughs> and the guy would probably like unless he punched you right in the face, he would probably just like like politely go, ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go and fuck then yourself. the second you did another one, it's like, all right, we get like, it. It wouldn't take more than one. Most people would punch you in the face after one, right? But after one, but if you kind of just pleasantly chuckled after one. The second one, Looks you, like you gotta go get make hit. a cup grade. Cup grade. <laughs> hey, dude, I think you should make a cup grade. <laughs> yeah, but you might want to not hit a, a guy who's saying this stuff because uh, one of his Vincent Van Bros might be with him, which is a bro who is so loyal he would cut his ear off for you. 
Dude, what, you're my Woody, Woody man, really? I know that's oh. what I want to do after hearing these. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying it was a gem, but it at least deserved Vincent, a chuckle. I, I, I had to scold the audience. I didn't like the fact that they stared at my clever joke. Yes. Well, a Vincent Van Bro <laughs> would be opposed to just some silly wanna bro. Some what? A wanna bro. It's it's as described, a dork who tries to be a bro. But it's nothing but a wannabe. Well, how could you be a wannabe? If you're using this language, then you're a bro. Mm, yeah, but he doesn't know the language. He just probably picked up the book and it's just, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't live no, the bro lifestyle. No, I don't no. know. <laughs> he doesn't live the bro lifestyle. You like this stuff, right. Sam. <laughs> I do. <Yeah. laughs> I, 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 I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> I don't um, even know what to believe with. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I don't just, even know. Ass. But you know yes. something? This is a great country that you can actually, you know, make a little bit of money doing that. Yeah. I actually thought that when Os Os Osborne's uh, kid is climbing those fucking mountains. Yeah, this is a show. Yeah, just climb up there. Yeah, there you go. Out. Film it. Well, let's see if you T square know. feet has anything else. To say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving me there. I just really T square feet, huh? <laughs> that is good. Yeah. Well, a lot of my favorite things to do with bros is just relaxing or whatever. Yeah. Sure. And so sometimes you need some chilloquialisms for when you're just chilling. You know? Chillaxing? Yeah. And so, like, you might say you need to make a chip trip. And that's a trip to a convenience store to pick up chips for the game. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? I, I wasn't sure. I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck it's is really that? going deep, man. I thought that was taking the lead ones out of the retarded kid's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> This is another good one. Yeah. <laughs> you and your bros might want to play a game of chill yards. Chill yards. Which is billiards when played for the purposes of chilling with your bros. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. Who's this? This, this, this book for like twelve year olds or something? My fucking this makes my teeth hurt. Yeah, it's 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 physically hurting. <laughs> and if you're using this with another guy, I'm sure a bro job is in their future. <laughs> Those motherfuckers are queer. <laughs> you know, though, yes. some of the audience members today might have come in and gone into cock shock. What is cock shock? Well, that's when you go to a party expecting a breast fest, but walk into a meat hang. A breast fest? Cock right. shock? So you're yeah. talking about any O&A It's parents? when you pick up a transsexual and she's post-op. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. There's or like, some, they, if you want to prove you're classy or whatever, like you're, you know, you're cut above the rest of the bros, yeah. you'd show them your cigar arsenal, which is your arsenal of cigars. Oh, is that what that wow. is? Yeah. Cigar arsenal? Uh -huh. That's, just That's cool. Ugh. And one more, I guess, and then we, then we officially give the first copy of the bromance book out. This give? Time. Well, let them fight over it. <laughs> yeah. Who's not going to want this now? So, like, this would be when you're watching TV and your chick is coming over trying to change the remote or talk to you, and you're like, babe, the game's on? Oh, that's when you have to punt. That's punch the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, your chick might have ESP envy. Ugh. It's like a chick's jealousy over your love of ESPN. Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought that was especially smelly pussy envy. <laughs> oh, hold on. Sorry. Apparently, fucking the improv troupe out here in the audience could have come up with a better ESP line. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mars. How are you? You are, you are just carpet bombing oh, the it's audience. Oh, fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... Dresden out there. <laughs> and I don't like the fact that fucking... All right, go ahead. I, I've lost my faith in myself. <laughs> oh, no. No, well, no, come on, Jimmy. Do it. Let's finish strong here. You All know right. what Mars is? What? Really? What? Yes, a fucking Tiberius Caesar haircut having idiot. <laughs> no. Thank God I didn't say that as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten a big laugh, but I was really trying to make a point. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go ahead there, Sam. I've seen this guy work out, and he's a total gym poster. In that he shows up. Is that where he up. pretends to be a guy bombing? Oh, <laughs> man, you're not bombing. You're doing well. <laughs> gym poster. Uh. Well, he shows up to the gym just to be able to tell people that he goes there. Ah. But he well. doesn't do much besides sit at the juice bar, hitting on the counter chick, of course. Well, the well, chick. God, yeah, right, dude. Sam. He's such a fucking man. Tank Hankerous would do that. Yeah.
All Thank this Hanker's knowledge. This is a these. book of puns. That's yeah. all he's done. By, yeah. the, by the way, good job by Sam. Mikey G in Boston writes, Sam's really wise and informative today. A regular bro b one Kenobi. That's right, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. That's nice. a good one. Is that one in there? Nice. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Does it go from A to Z in that dumb book? Or no, because they're all the different sections. Oh, well, yeah. You yeah. break them up into... But all Holy this shit. knowledge can go to one... Or I think six lucky fans <laughs> today. Well, why don't you, you know, whoever wants this book should raise their hand. How about this? Hope whoever comes up with a good one, yeah. yes. gets the first copy. Yes. How about that? One of you guys has to have a bromance. Since I haven't, obviously, uh. maybe one of you can <laughs> come up with a good one. And this is the copy as read on the air. Oh, oh wow, that's it's famous, a famous now. Famous book. Ooh. That book is famous. I heard he signed it too. You should write as read, <laughs> as read by. <laughs> Primetime Sam Rogers. I can't, what That's page did true. he sign this on? I don't remember. Second page again. It's weird. Usually you just open up the cover and sign it, but these I guys... I think that's, that's a new thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a new thing. What does it say, Jimmy? I can't read I can't even find it. Uh, well, it's right... Uh, one more page. Yeah, right there. Okay, what does no, it no, say, Jimmy? No, you missed Jimmy? it, Jim. Go back a page. Go back a page. Back. One more. One more. And it's right there. There it is. Right? What is that noise? It's almost like there's a pen writing on paper. No, no, no. I don't know. What's going on there? I can't find it. I don't know. All right. Don't... Is that see... one signed there, Oh, here Sam? it is. Oh, did you find it? I'm like, how could I not find it? <laughs> what does it say, Sam? <laughs> I'm an unfunny... What is this? Can you read that? I Looks like he wrote shitbag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an unfunny <laughs> shitbag. Daniel. <laughs> oh Too bad the cunning linguist wasn't here, or he would, uh, he would win. The show itself. Yeah. Our show. Come on. The Bropey and Manthony show. <laughs> nice. nice. Dude. Dude, right? Come on. Air high Up five. Up top, man. There you go. Yeah. We're high fiving. With Ugh. your uh with your female loving friend, Shimmy Norton. Shim Shim. <laughs> 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 Sam? So who wants the brocabulary? Who's got a good brocab word? A brocab. I like that, Sam. Ah. Why is nobody saying anything? Come on, guys. This, you, you can't bomb harder than I have. Yeah. I've set the bar very low. Let's go with a brocab. Let's go. You guys are a bunch of queers. That guy with you the glasses is thinking. Bros. The guy in the second row. Is he nodding off? He's asleep. That guy is asleep. Look at him. Oh, damn. Oh, oh we nice just woke work. him up. Fucking narcoleptic. My, my word is broner. What? Uh, a, a broner? A, a broner. That's when you and your friend is wrestling around and your dick gets hard. Yeah. <laughs> you get a... Accidental, though. That's, that's the point. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it'd be queer if it was on purpose. <laughs> the fact that the man's fucking leg rubs your dick and it jumps up makes it fine. All right, we'll give him that one. That was good. A broner. Mr. Broner gets the book. Oh. Yay! I, I, I <laughs> Uh, this is Jimmy, Jimmy's jokes have been made front page of the paper. <laughs> <laughs> As it holds up the wait, let me see. Adam Bomb, picture. Adam Bomb from Hiroshima. Yeah, pictures. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. oh, I was hoping it was the ad in the corner. <laughs> oh no! Hey, what other old newspapers <laughs> are we know. are giving away today after the break? <laughs> yeah, we got Anthony almost... picked. Decided to keep one of them. After no, all. Okay, you could take this one. Really? I just wanted to. Th I just wanted to thumb through right. it. The good old days. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Jeff's turkey gizzes didn't have no fucking turkey. Uh, I was just thinking that. There's the yeah. joke. All they were selling There's was whipped cream. There's the joke. Go on now. Uh. What we got? Women are now tying the knot with... The chicken in the final episode that was a baby. He replaced that one. What do no. we got? Hold on a no. second. What? what do we got? No. What do you got? A whole stack of World War II era newspapers. Uh. One headline says, Two Nazi armies yield in the South. Yeah, I don't like those papers. Oh, this one you're not good. Total German surrender. Wow. Oh, boy. Ooh. Don't let it happen. Hell happened there, huh? Soviets fight Czech Nazis. God oh, damn no. the Reds. And no Jap war for two front vets. <laughs> Jimmy just went and got another bromance book. Wow. Yeah, I want to keep one for myself. <laughs> hey, you know what we haven't talked about yet? <clears throat> what? what we were talking about in the office? About Tara Reid and all that? All right. Her show, uh, Terrible. What is it called? Paradise. Paradise. Yeah. Terrifying. Oh, it's so bad. It's it's it's. Ooh, it's, it's the amazing. old Wild On uh, show they used to do yeah. on E. Same thing where but they now send it's her around. Wild On E or whatever. Yeah, and Brooke Burke used to talk all the time, you know, and do like the whole segments. And she's so bad. They they I have like seventeen montages 
and they'll just come to her, you know, this is where life began. And she's like, wow, you guys, that's amazing. That's crazy. This is insane. I took, a, I took a peek the other day. I couldn't believe how awful she looked. And she, she won't do anything either. This is like no. Paris saying, I'm, no, that's crazy. You guys. Yeah, she's in like these faraway places and she's supposed to participate in some activities and she doesn't. No, she won't. She won't. But the two episodes I've seen, anything that they're doing, she was supposed to run with the bulls. No. No. I was I was gonna, and then I was just like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's like, how are you building a show around this? Oh, God. And then she'll laugh like, <gasps> <laughs> camel, oh. camel unfilters. Yeah, she's known for just smoking like crazy, and she had that. That um, what? How do they? What do they call that voice when they want it to sound like it's something sexy? Oh, that smoky voice. Yeah, no, Demi Moore the, the yeah. description. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a way you put it uh, that sounds sexy. And maybe when you know a few years back, uh, when she was doing those American Pie movies, I guess it was kind of cute. Now it's just reached the point where it it really reminds me of Lucille Ball in her final years when she used to do Carson. <laughs> Remember you watch I Love Lucy as a kid, and she was like, Ricky, uh, we got to have Mrs. Trumbull watch uh, little Ricky, and I'll, I'll meet you at the club later. And that was Lucy. And then, like, six this, years later. Six years go by. She's on a talk show. Well, you know, <laughs> me and Viv, when we invented this sitcom, we, uh, we uh, never really got along with Bill Frawley. <laughs> <laughs> when me and Desi started Desi Lou Studios, like what? What happened to her voice? She'd be on those talk shows with a drink and a cigarette. The drink no clinking, problem. clink clink. Oh, Johnny, <laughs> <laughs> just drinking and smoking. That is. And uh, th that's definitely the road Tara Reid has taken. She's not gonna be able to talk. The emphysema. <laughs> yeah, they all get wound up getting it back then. Uh, uh, she died of it. Ricky, I remember seeing um, Desi Arnaz on a Saturday Night Live episode, like right before he died. Yeah, he uh, he was on. I don't know. Did he host it? I think I think he was a host, and uh, just ravaged by the sea, the big uh, casino, got his lungs because they were always smoking. In the office, we were talking about the episodes of I Love Lucy, where uh, they would do placement, product placement for Philip Morris. It was the cigarette company that sponsored the show. And uh, Lucy would offer people cigarettes that came over the house in a candy dish full of cigarettes that were on, on the table of a, t <laughs> a TV show. <laughs> They'd be like wafts of smoke on the set. You know, the, play the whole studio probably just stunk. The set had nicotine dripping down the walls. You have to squeegee off the camera lens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Tara Reid's starting to sound like... Uh... Ah, Mr. Mooney, <laughs> we're here in Pamplona, Spain. Oh, ah. I'm not gonna run with the bulls. It's crazy, <laughs> guys. Uh, well, I think we have some terror audio here. Yeah, let's listen to this water activities. I went on this other raft thing, it was called a fly fish, and it's like this thing where everyone kind of lays down in, in it, and it just flies up in the air, and me and Paris are screaming like, ah! We're so scared. It was so high that I thought it was going to flip over the other way. <laughs> My teeth and my eyeballs. Oh my god. Honestly, we really hurt each other. And I think my leg is broken. I have black and blues on my legs right here. It's crazy. But it was so much fun. Crazy. We did every water sport you could possibly imagine. We put more calories than doing water activities and not even running here. It's like we worked out for an hour. We do this every day and you're ripped. Wow. People are watching this shit. She's got one of those voices that just around every spit where just stop talking. <laughs> and then we went on this thing. It's called the fly. It's fantastically fun. We, like a voice just cuts out. <laughs> it's like a cell phone call. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here we are in Australia. This is wonderful. We're by the great reef. <laughs> <laughs> just cuts out. Uh, not getting a signal. Good signal. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Sultry, people are saying the voice is called. Sultry. Sultry. Sure. Mike on Long Island. What's up, Mike? Hey, I caught a glimpse of that show the other day. It is the most cool show on TV. All she talked about is, is how, uh, how how exclusive she's getting into. And she re- you got to hear the refer to herself in person. This is the Tara Zone or the Reed Zone. This is like re- exclusive. Uh, it's the most hey, stop ripping off Anthony. Anthony uh, yeah, came right? up with the voice that just, you know, craps out. His phone. <laughs> He's got a terrible voice, voice phone. Uh, all right, Mike, thank you. Here's another clip. This is hysterical. My camera crew comes in, and then all these other camera crews, like, flashes everywhere. We're like, what is going on? It all happened at once. And Paris and Paris were like, wow, she's a big crew. Say hi to the camera. I'm sitting there like, who are all these people? It all happened so quick. There's like eight cameras, 25 paparazzi all around the table, and it was just like, whoa. That's your only camera. You know, and then finally we got everyone else out, but we kept ours in. They figured it out. The spider guards figured it out. <laughs> you nailed the voice, uh, man. She's got it, and, and, and oh, she tells the worst story. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, we were like, wow. <laughs> like awesome. We had a bigger crew, and Paris held that. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the whole thing with the original show is that she, it was her going to bars, like party locations? Yeah. And then what, did they run out of bars? Because okay. now she, they try to make it make make it more than it really is, <laughs> where she's actually trying to get culture some of these places. I have no idea. Oof. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I've never in my life tasted anything better. Like, we were flipping out. It was sick. It was amazing. It was so, so good. She has like three <laughs> adjectives in her whole vocabulary. Sick. It was amazing. So, so good. I mean, it's just, it's just, so, so good. You need a show to have somebody tell you how delicious some food product was? I didn't, that's what she's talking about. I never realized her voice was so fucked up. Oh, raspy. The other thing is, it, it also just speeds up out of nowhere. Yeah. She uh she loves the cigarettes is what it is. She must be a mess to like wake up in the morning for the next show. Just picture her sprawled out on the bed in some hotel room, <laughs> the jizz on the sheets and just reeking of smoke. Jizz in her hair. Everything she owns must just reek of cigarette smoke. <laughs> just her hair all in disarray, her face all swollen from the night partying. What? Uh, uh, I need another hour. No, call me later. I got sleep. <laughs> Punching the mirror, getting in a karate fight. Saigon, I can't believe I'm still in Saigon. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Viet Cong came in from the north. I was like, wow. <laughs> this is the end. first and ninth air cab, yeah, air mobile. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna blow this off, but we we have to hear more of her. Uh, this is horrible. Of her speech. Oh, it's over. No, Paris and Paris couldn't have been any kinder. You know, they just took us in and showed us the other side of Greece that we wouldn't have ever gotten to know. We were dancing and singing together. I mean, there's just so much love there. Paris and Paris, they're truly not. I think it's beautiful. Truly what? Paris and Paris, they're truly just. <laughs> truly just. She hacks up a tumor. <laughs> I think people are going to see I'm not just a party girl, but I care about people. And I'm kind of goofy and I have a funny side to me, too. And it's insane. What is that? That's the Acropolis, and the main building is the parking lot. And what is that? This is a monument from the. So is he one of the gods? Like Hercules? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's okay. mythology. This is the real thing. It was the golden age of Pericles, built uh, 2,500 years ago. So he was a guy? Yes. See, I'm confused. Like, did you know this? <laughs> See, you guys don't know either. So don't, yeah. don't no, make me look no really idea. Super. He was the guy that built that, right? Like, he was like the governor right. back then. So that's how the macros started. Is he the guy um, that did the thing with the potatoes? He was like, right? That guy was a leader. He ruled Greece, and there was no potatoes. Anyone they can be, be better. I don't know. I'm learning way too much stuff. Is that like when the ruins were? Exactly. That okay, is... see? I'm getting smarter by the minute. It was wow. one of the birthplaces of civilization, and it was amazing. Amazing. 
we should stick to the good plugs. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the plugs. Yeah. I just don't know where to say that. Jessica Simpson right now. Yeah. She's looking like a rock scientist. Holy. What? I don't know. We need, we need a I, I, I'm learning too much stuff. I, I I'm trying to get a history lesson. I don't think that part of the show is very good. <laughs> Do you hear the sound effects? They actually make fun of it because... Yeah. Boing! <laughs> She's so stupid. See that one with the potatoes? That's the one with the potatoes. Because I, I know that it was a leader and he has uh, people and uh, the, uh, the guy, they ran out of potatoes and I got to get some more potatoes. Is that the guy? Uh, is that the guy? Uh, hey, is it, give me a fucking drink. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> Uh, fabulous. Yeah, Justin, Tennessee, what's up? Not much. What's going on, fellas? You hey, tell us. Okay, I'm wondering, are the networks just looking for the biggest idiots to do these shows nowadays? Yes, pretty much. Because, okay. I mean, MTV has Ashley Simpson, and she's the biggest no-talent ass clown I've seen ever. Uh, and, I mean, Tara, Tara Reid, they just put a camera in front of her and a drink in her hand and call it a show. TV is all about just finding uh, train wrecks now. Uh, you guys watch The Surreal way. Life? Yeah. With Janice Dickinson? Did you see the one where, uh, who's the dude from Perfect Strangers? I don't know. The Balky. Balky. <laughs> starts call Bronson Pinchot. Where he starts fan. crying? No, really? Holy Missed that one. crap, I laughed so fucking hard. I know he's a fucking pervert. There's all sorts of drama in the in the house, right? Between her and that, that fake bitch, uh, Amorosa, uh -huh. from The Apprentice. She has to be all edgy and like she'll say anything, but you can tell that's she's her a, character. She's a big phony, so she has it out with Janice, whatever. And uh, so Janice goes off to another room and uh, she admits to Balky that that her father was a pervert or a pedophile or something. Mm -hmm. And so it made for a horrendous, uh, you know, childhood. Yeah. And she's getting into it with Balky and she's crying as she's like admitting this huge thing. Yeah. And what does Balky do instead of comfort her? He openly starts crying harder than she was. I think he was trying to get into her pants that way. I was laughing so hard when Tough this came sell, on but when this came on done TV. Done correctly. We got to get the we got to get the audio of that because it was really really funny. Yeah. And then they have to console him when it was all about, you know, they they should be consoling this, you know, Janice girl cuz she was going That's great. going through this moment, but Balky was overcome by the whole thing. Maybe it brought back some kind of childhood memory of something that uh -oh. happened to him. Because he now loses it, and, and they can't uh, calm him down. Yeah. He probably's like, oh, she's stealing the scene. Yeah. She's going to get the award. She's getting more attention. Yeah. Got to make this about me. We have Tara Reed on the phone. Tara! Hi, boys. Hey, Tara. <laughs> wow, you sound sexy with that voice. What's up, Tara Reed? Well, I was out all night partying with Tara. <laughs> hey, uh, a bunch of my, my, my friends were telling me you guys were talking about me. Um, so what's, <laughs> what's up, Tara? I like when they call that have no material. Yeah, yeah. Hi, it's Tara Reed again, having to say who it is, and then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it had potential. Yeah. One more clip, oh my God. Tara. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, we like to eat dinner at least three times a day. <laughs> yeah, we do. Know. I'm gonna be a monster by the end of it. Hello. I need to honestly get my mouth stapled and just talk out of a straw. That's all I do is what? eat. I'm getting fatter by the second. I'm gonna eat a girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting up in the unit of bikini. I'm just a monster now. I told myself that. Have you ever seen me this big in your life? I have no idea what she said. And she just laughed. About being after. fat, bikini. I, yeah, food. I think it's fat like. Bikini if we keep eating, I'm going to get huge in my bikini. I'm not going to be able to fit into it. Because <laughs> 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 like, yeah, I keep eating, I'm going to have to get my mouth there and eat through a straw. She didn't even say that. She said, breathe through a straw or something. I don't know. Talk through a straw. It's like, isn't it getting your jaw wired shut and eating through a straw? She's like getting my mouth stapled and talking through a straw. <laughs> she gets everything wrong. She was confusing Greek mythology with the potato famine. <laughs> and then the god Apollo needed french fries and he couldn't find any. So he had to like, get this, a Parasophocles guy and, and he came down and actually got them um, curly fries. <laughs> That's you amazing. Dope. <laughs> what adult. <laughs> That's I fucking unbelievable. I can't book anything 
And she she's on into television. The audition. You gotta be a train wreck, Bill. Oh, yeah, I just got this ad yesterday. I didn't have a chance in there. I, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> she's on TV. There on it TV. is. Guy has a show. People talk about it. People watch it. Encore. One more clip. Of course. Oh. Talking about food. More food. What is going on with the potatoes and the bread at the end? I mean, guys, are you trying to make me stop by the second? I'm not eating them. Guys, my ass is jiggling. You can't starve yourself and be like a, a typical actress that doesn't eat and do a movie that we did. It's too intense. Do you know what I mean? So, literally, you ate what you could. So, we ate stuff just for energy, but it was food. So, we got fat. Yeah, head in the log. But we'll get it off. Here, yeah, you passed the Greek salad. That's really good. It's them eating and talking about getting fat, getting fat from that eating good shitty TV. food. Honey. But like, the movie is like so intense. I, I did American Pie. It was the dry place that I had to go. So I just, eh. It's so hard to eat food here. It's so she food. I got fat. You know, it was different on the set of uh, my motion picture, Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> we had such great food there. Uh, now it's such horrible food. <laughs> Uh, Michael Jordan from Alabama writes, Tara Reid actually said uh, rock scientist instead of rocket scientist. Rock scientist? Yeah, I did hear that. Fantastic. Rock scientist. She is the greatest. All right. I'm looking forward to uh, the next program. We need more Tara clips. Yeah. Please put that on the list. You want to do some Tara things? Yeah. All right, Tara clips on the way for you, Anthony. <laughs> Tara clips. There you go. Who the hell was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Whose stomach just growled? Was that yours? Yeah, but... But you've been eating granola. It was really low, though. That wasn't my stomach. That was... <laughs> that was one of those internal farts. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, you ever get that? Yeah, it doesn't get... Doesn't it's like, up. you know your intestine... Uh, this is a great segue. <laughs> well, <laughs> I haven't talked about farts in a few so days. There's Here gas we go, behind. Because your intestine is a bunch of, like, muscles, just right. like your sphincter. Only it's it's like uh, on the whole length of it, and that pushes everything down. So when you get gas in there, uh, and and the gas squeezes through one of these closed sphincter muscles, it sounds exactly like a fart. Only it's inside. Right. And sometimes it could sound exactly like a fart, but like not, muffled from the sheets or something. But no one's going to be bothered by it. Right. Because it just stinks inside you. I got a fart was inside me. And just that was amazing. And they were looking at me. And I was like, you guys. I, I, was, I was with this guy once. And all of a sudden, I, I thought I had a fart. And it was inside fart. And it almost came out. And then I did fart. And it came out as a smoke ring. And everyone laughed and laughed. And I didn't know I could blow smoke rings. And I fired in the last cigarette I had was like 15 minutes ago. And I still had a smoke ring. And it was great. <laughs> Derek and the gang are loving the new impression, oh. the new Anthony impression. Whole, who knew you could do Tara, Anthony? <laughs> who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Horrible whore. Guys, Tara Dice. never do that. Tara Dice is the greatest show on TV. Tara Dice. See, if we had a TV yeah, pitch like this, we would be on A&E at this point. What, what, how would the pitch go? Okay, drunk we got, whore. We've got this drunk whore. Think drunk whore. Meets. Around the world. Yeah. We need drunk whore meets. Mm. Yeah. Life Who is that guy? Who is famous? Ooh, very good. <laughs> hey, there you go. I was thinking that other more obscure show of that guy that just goes around the world and stops around. Sh- champagne, yeah, champagne some... wishes. Uh, car- caviar drinks. <laughs> <laughs> champagne wishes. Caviar drinks. <laughs> but anyway. Um, uh, give me another drink. I think this was l- like the latest Rolling Stone magazine or something. They talked to good old Tara Reid, who's just a drunken whore. whore. <laughs> she this is this is the last hurrah for her. Yeah, this is how it ends for uh, Tara Reid. By the way, Tara Dice is like the Citizen Kane of trashy late night basic cable party shows. An e tour of the horrible, fabulous life of Tara Reid. Who's Citizen Kane? The star of Body Shots sloshes around the world, boozing it up in Monte Carlo, stumbling on yachts in uh, St. Troy, slurring, I need to get some ass, or I think Sardinia is Taradice. Taradice. Taradice is full of precious moments with Tara as a goodwill am- a- ambassador spreading her loving arms around the globe. When somebody mentions the London terrorist bombings, Tara steps right up. And this Ooh. is what she had to say of about she that. Does. If all the mean people... Want to be mean to each other? 
buy a country together and just blow each other up. Then there'd be no terrorists left. But like, don't kill innocent people for no reason. It's not fair. It makes me sad. Can you imagine trying to oh like my maintain an erection as you're talking? Like, you got her back to her apartment. Babbling. Like, I'm gonna bang this girl, and she's like, "Yeah, you should do about terrorism." It's, just, it's uh, awful. Buy, have to buy an island all together, and they can all get on it. What we're gonna do is get Al Qaeda on one island. It's it's what we're gonna do is get them all together, and and they'll blow each other up. It's what they're gonna do. I believe I heard one of my advisors said this. Was it one of my advisors? We're gonna we're gonna get them. We're going to put them on an island and blow it up. And then all the evil will be gone in the world. Where did I hear that? It was either Advisor or Paradise. <laughs> Who was it? Can't re- I can't recall. We've got to make sure she commits herself against terrorism. <laughs> I'm calling her a terrorist. It's so awful to watch. Well, this is one of our favorite things. It's, it's one of our favorite new things, playing tarot clips. Because she we is just a drunk whore. We got a couple things here. <laughs> she was in Croatia. What? Croatia. Oh my God! Paradise made it to Croatia. <laughs> you guys. You guys. <laughs> There's these Brazilian dancers and belly dancers, and people were doing these like bongo things, and and all of a sudden, you know, we're dancing and having a great time. <laughs> They're doing their bongo things, Ricky. Oh, Mr. Mooney was there, and Viv, Viv. I locked myself in the bank vault, and Mr. Mooney's coming. <laughs> I like how she doesn't. Even, everything's just a thing. You just get yeah. basically the word of what it is. Bongo thing, and then space shell took out. I was doing like this space thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, who wrote this? You, Nathaniel? It was, like, it, was like, it was like, wow. <laughs> he drove around. It was like in a wheel thing with a motor <laughs> thing. And it took us to this party thing. Oh. The next clip, Anthony, Nathaniel wrote, Tara bores America with a story. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the <laughs> that description was the of the pitch. Clip. That was the pitch for the show. That's the side of the bus. When I first got here in Croatia, uh, you know, the beginning part was all work. I had to do um, a huge photo shoot for the cover of FHM. So we went to this little island. It was about an hour and a half boat ride to get to where we had to get to. On the way there, they did my hair, and then we did my makeup, and we picked out what clothes we were doing. So the time we got there, everything was already set up. And I was a little nervous. I was in all bikinis. I was like, oh, God, I hope I look okay. But uh, I saw the pictures, and I think it's going to come out pretty good. <laughs> This is why they're wow. sending her around the world. Yeah. This is why she is on an aircraft going to different places in the world. So she can get on a boat and have her makeup done and tell everybody about it. And I've been waiting years for TV to get to this point. Train really? wreck TV. You're just going to see more and more of this crap now. You know they they've said so wait, about reality programs that there's no like redeeming value or quality to any of these shows. This truly offers... Nothing. This show offers absolutely fucking lutely nothing to the viewer. They even edit it to m- just making fun of how fucking awful she is. Yeah, you heard them course. clip something out of there. Of course. It, Tara Reid uh, quotes, where do we get this from? Travis just handed this in. These are actual Tara Reid yeah. quotes. But I uh, At the end of a movie, all my outfits are missing. They even call uh, Tara, uh, those are $700 shoes. What are they going to do? Search my house? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so I guess she was pilfering from her wardrobe? Yeah. <laughs> All her, like, stories, like, you, the listeners just, like, in panic, like, oh, my God, it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say something. Like, that just ends, like, mid-idea. Uh, she's talking about, what? what is this? Um, I don't like the typical good-looking guy. I know this sounds ridiculous, but I like a guy with love handles. When he doesn't care 100% about his body, I don't have to obsess about mine. I hate washboard stomachs. Uh, uh, it does not turn me on. Wow. Uh, well, seeing some of her shots in the bikini, I could see why. If the guy doesn't look good, she doesn't have to look good. Did no, you see those stomach you gotta, shots you got to read the next one. Uh, I, I hate being tickled. Sure, it makes me laugh. But when I get tickled, I get pissed off. I'm like a monkey when I get tickled. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and they spelled out woohoo, woohoo, Robin. <laughs> Tell him, Fred. Tell him, Fred. <laughs> oh. uh, 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 uh. Uh, the chocolate's coming faster down the conveyor belt than I can make. Put it in the box. <laughs> oh, uh. Do the uh, Bloody Mary. You just got to go down. These are just amazing. I, I just started making Bloody Marys. I always thought they looked <laughs> gross, and then I tasted one. There's an art to it, from the Tabasco to the Worcestershire. To the Worcestershire. <laughs> it's like an art. From the Tabasco to... Indeed, Tara. There is truly an art to it. By the way, people... This is real. Yes. These, These are, are real, real quotes. quotes. I, I know we're really good at uh, making fun of shit. This is real sh stuff that we're just reading. I, I like when a guy makes me feel like a woman and a little girl at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All at the same time. Hey there, princess. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not perfect. I do drink. I do smoke. Carson Daly can't go out and get messed up. He can't smoke in front of kids. He's the face MTV. He's got to be good. But me, I can. You know, Carson was <laughs> smoking in front of children. <laughs> you know, Carson Daly was obviously onto something. Yeah. Because a lot of people are like, why are you dumping this piece of ass? Because there was a time she was pretty she hot. Was a, you know? She was a catch. I guess he saw the signs early. Does she just like go down to Chuck E. Cheese and like start smoking? Get out of the fucking ball pit, you little <laughs> cocksuckers. <laughs> Try this. It's cattle non -filter. Do the last one about slasher movies. Slasher movies are fun. You watch yourself get chopped to pieces, yet you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> you see blood on the axe and think, holy shit, this is sick. But you kind of get over your fear of death. Uh, your fear of fake death. She gets over her fear of fake death. What a boob. Uh, what a complete boob this girl is. All right, here's uh, more from Paradise. Tara saying cheers in multiple languages. Oh. So we get to um, Navarre Island, and we went to this little place, little village called Starry Grass, and it was absolutely beautiful. It was like a hidden treasure. Kibberle. Chin chin. Kibberle. Chin chin. We said all every language we've been to so far. Yeah, okay, okay, so, well, I don't know if we can... Uh, cheers, slanche, uh, uh, gra uh, how do you say Grazie, Italian? Chin 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 chin. Chin chin? Chin chin and chin chin. That's not Greek. That's English. Chin chin, isn't that a re Chinese restaurant? That's just in English. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. Slanche. Cheers. And Giberle. Everyone should eat at Antica. No, that that, that means uh, antiques. Gunga uh. <laughs> Lagunga. <laughs> Gunga. Gunga Lagunga. Is what the Dalai Lama said to me. Gunga oh, Gunga Lagunga. <laughs> So I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Big hitter, the llama. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh. Oh. I love Just him. out there representing America. Uh. You guys like to hear more of her? Oh, yeah. All this, right. this is Tara messing with press. Is it possible that we get drinks? And we finally clear everyone out, and we're dancing on the tables, and everyone's going crazy when we dance on the tables, and they start dancing on the tables. <laughs> Someone on the table? What? What happened? Something about a table, a table. Something a table. table. How annoyed you would table, you be? You were next to a table. You're, you're out. sitting at a table. You're table. just I trying to have some fun, and oh. here's some drunk whore Tara Reed dancing on your fucking table. But we're watching. You'd have to throw something at our head. Love the train wreck shit. Love it. Dancing on the table. Hey, you know where the gate was when we walked in, the bridge? Was it, is it true or is it just like in movies? Was there like crocodiles and stuff in there? If you got in, like, like you got pushed in, they would, you'd get killed? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, never. We don't have crocodiles. You hear that? <laughs> where, where were they? Uh, a moat. Yeah, they were probably somewhere where there wasn't crocodiles. They had a like crossover, a, a, a moat. I mean. A moat of the crocodile. Like she's getting her information because from she, fucking cartoons. <laughs> did, did, did he dress like that guy from Burger King? <laughs> 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 retard. Is there a moat? And, the moat, and you got to get across it on a little raft with a sail, and then you take, pick a fan up, and you plug the fan in, and blow it on the sail, and you go across the moat. And, and then you get a big barrel of TNT and put it by the gate, and then you go back and light it, but the rabbit already lit it while you were rocking backwards, and then it blows you up. And then you got to go all the way back to the ship and get another match. 
and you try to light the big pot with the rabbit in it, uh, but the rabbit blows it out, and you got to go back. And even a kid knows, why didn't he bring more than just one match? Because he keeps going back for the match. <laughs> What do you do when the dragon shows up? The car starts breathing fire, and you're like, whoa. You know, <laughs> you raise, like, you go, raise the droppers, raise the droppers. And, like, the dragon's coming, and you raise the droppers. And we were dancing on the table. And then you get over your fear of death, because it's like, real, but a dragon doesn't exist. I was like, wow. And I went into the powder room, and I thought it was gunpowder, but all of a sudden it turned into like there were mirrors and powder in there. <laughs> I like sucking the cock of a fat guy, because I don't like a washboard meal. It makes me feel better about myself. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just endless. <laughs> <laughs> I, so we were eating, and I ordered, I ordered the duck, and it was like, I didn't know how they got it. Like, it was wabbit season or duck season, wabbit season, duck season, fire. And they shot him, and his beak went on his head. <laughs> and you're doing you're getting a request. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Oh God. Can you do Tara doing Steve O doing Scott Farrell picking <laughs> sports games? Uh, we had three things on the show today that sound very similar. And it's all the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, I love this show. Let's go with more clips here. Why? You know where the gate was when we walked in, the bridge? Was it, is oh, it sorry. true or is it just like a movie? Was the there like crocodiles and yeah. stuff in there? If you got in, like, like you got pushed in, they would, you'd get killed? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, never. We don't have crocodiles. <laughs> no, 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 but you're you, an idiot. You hear the song. <laughs> but she's literally laughing like, yeah, I know, I'm an idiot. Just give the information. <laughs> All right, here's a new uh, clip. Peter had an amazing voice, and he's very sexy. You know, he's a good-looking guy, and, you know, singing creation, a guy singing creation to me with beautiful face. I mean, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I was like this. I was in awe. <laughs> <laughs> it is like cute. So are we. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, <sighs> Jets around e travel paradise. Oh, she requested a separate room. Um, at a hotel. At a hotel for her shoes. Her shoes. Which that's cost an additional three thousand seven hundred dollars a night. That, that sounds like one of those publicity things. That's just it? dumb diva shit. That means nothing. All right, here we go. Tara described, she's described as the female Joe Cocker. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Go f get, get a Joe Cocker song ready, Derek. Why? So I sang back to him, but God only knows what I sang. I don't even know what I was doing. I'm very retarded. <laughs> I hope they don't show that. Okay. Can't oh. <laughs> no, My voice is broken. No, it's broken. Like a, I, I told her, she sounds like a female uh, Joe Cocker. <laughs> Joe Cocker. I get by with a little help from my friends. <laughs> I'm feeling all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I'm singing. <laughs> Where's my shoe? <laughs> 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 Every night I just I had the same dream over and over again. And I, I, in prison, by the way, I I I, I could I could have been um, I left. Uh, you on my own? I said, <laughs> so it seems. Get to the hook, guys. <laughs> it's too many words. Uh, so why do songs have to be so wordy? <laughs> <laughs> But everyone around me feels like shit. <laughs> does have a kind of a Joe Cocker tone to her voice. You guys want more? Now what we got would you do if I sang out of tune, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got any more? Sure. Yeah. I love the Tara. All right, she's in Sardinia. Where is that? I have no idea. Is that where they put the little fish in the cans? You got to open a key. Hate Sardinia. Where is it's it? A... It's off Italy. Off Italy. Thank you. Italy. I'm at the beach now, Porto Polo, which I think it means Chicken Beach. <laughs> and there's supposed to be like professional windsurfers and and kite surfing, and there's a million people behind me doing it. And I want to meet these really cute boys, Barney and Jason, and they're going to show me. Barney and Jason. All right, she sounds kind of normal there. Yeah. Before she got hammered. Yay! Look <laughs> at my first kite. <laughs> that was really scary. You almost killed someone. You know that, right? <laughs> look, look, they're all look at them. They're all running away. 
<laughs> Seriously, almost killed all of them. Then they started yelling, da 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 whatever it was at the time. But I know it wasn't nice. <laughs> that is oh, my God. There's no way I'm flying on that thing. There's not even a chance. No, no not happening. Not happening. <laughs> it's so crazy. That's, that's the oh. thing I think Bill pointed this out, is that they show her all these cool activities, and then she refuses to do she them. Doesn't she doesn't do won't any, do of, any them. of them. So now all they're left to is we're just going to make fun of how fucking <laughs> stupid you are, because that's all we have in the footage. He makes a good point, because the next clip is Tara practicing windsurfing on beach, refuses to try it on water. <laughs> she doesn't do anything. How could you... The running of the balls. I'm going to be doing that. I tell you, it's like, oh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> and, then, and then they cut to it. She's like, oh, my God. There's like, no way I'm doing that. And then you just cut to her in a bar, drunk. <laughs> and we were dancing. I was dancing. We were People dancing. running. It was insanely crazy. Like, I was, and I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> well, she doesn't do any of the things. <laughs> I'm much too drunk. Yeah, she literally goes. The whole purpose of going to is is to get involved to in the do activities. these things. Yeah, yeah. Go to China, Great Wall of China. I wasn't. I'm not going up all the steps. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm tired. I'm going back to the hotel. Well, here she is practicing windsurfing on the beach and not in the water. I did windsurfing on the sand and I still couldn't do it. <laughs> I was like, you know, like uh, wiggling, jiggling, like trying to just stand. And all of a sudden, I was like, you know, like it was crazy. It was so much fun, though. I, I fell in the sand like 20 times. I decided that <laughs> you're going to do it and I'm going to watch you. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, I'm going to watch you. That's where we're doing it. This is a joke, right? No, it's true. Can you imagine being that director when she tells the story? I can't do it. I fell out like, like 20 times. It's crazy. Off. And then you got to be like, and cut. <laughs> the, the, you think we think we got that? Is there, when do you know when to yell cut? Yeah, and you just like you said anything. Uh, do we do we got anything? Can we use anything? Anything? I felt like twenty times she was talking about uh, being on the sand with yeah. the sailboard. So all you have to do is stand. Really. Just it's t it's called standing. <laughs> it's at called that standing. point, you're not windsurfing. You're, you're standing <laughs> on the beach. I fell down like twenty times, you guys. Uh, we're running out of show. Let's get a couple more clips in before we get out of here for the day. So then me and Constantine, we go out to Billionaire, and it was, we made such a scene walking in there. Everyone's, like, taking our pictures, the paparazzi, is this, that. Then they put us in this VIP room. So before you know it, I'm sitting in Constantine's lap, and we're sitting in a chair like a throne. We looked like retards, but it was hysterical. Like, I didn't even care. I was just staring at him. It was so hot. No, you are retards. And again, and cut. Uh, is there anything we can use there? Visiting Roberto Cavalli's... Who is that? Some fashion guy. Oh, some fashion uh, guy. His boat. Oh, my God. It's your boat. You don't know which color is. Oh, my God. It's purple. Look at it. Purple, red now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Was she describing a bowl of tricks? <laughs> wow, look at it. It's blue, it's orange, it's turning the... This one's turning the milk brown. It's like Cocoa Puffs, but... What is she talking about? Wow, it's gold! It's... What was that? She was going on the boat, I guess. But what was she... The colors of the boat, a Ferris wheel? What is she... What no, got her attention? It's the boat is designed so that it looks different colors from different angles. Oh, it's got one of those paint schemes yeah. that, like, oh, okay. pris, prism-like paint. Oh, All right, boy, put, is she put, a Put her in a reality idiot. show. A reality show. Her, Tara Reid, and Stalker Patty. It'll be like... How do you pitch that? It's like Cagney and Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> Meet the Jerry Lewis telethon. <laughs> Oh, look at it. It's changing colors. <laughs> what a dope. That's what she got out of a boat ride. I guess we'll was end the there. pretty colors. Huh? Ah, that's, wonderful. that's a good that's a good one. Was there one more? Well, we'll save it for the next time we go down this uh oh, road. I love the Paradise. We'll visit with Tara and Paradise another time on the Opie and Anthony program, but we're done for today, man. Yeah. How much time? We got 4 3 Oh, two, one, four seconds left. Zero. You said? Hit it. Well, Get party is over. Everybody go home. <laughs> we saved this because Bill hasn't been around in a while. Because mm -hmm. we had Norton back, and then uh, I don't know. You've been doing your own thing, obviously. Oh but yeah. We love the Paradise. I've been, been going to places like studio. Albany and Buffalo. <laughs> I don't got time for you guys. Exciting I'm jet places. setting. <laughs> it's all the hot cities in New England. Portland, Maine. Yeah, much mm, more important than that. getting national exposure on this show. Oh, exactly. Why would I want to become a draw nationally when no. I can perform in front of 30 people in Ottawa? Ottawa. Did you play Ottawa? No. 
Oh. The, the, even that one was too fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we've got to get right into Tardise because we're yeah, losing let's uh, hear it. time here. Tardise has been canceled, but I guess they're pumping out the why last the, few episodes. Why the fuck would they cancel the show? All those wild ons were kind of cool at first because you get to see a lot of hot asses and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, all right, it's you know more of the same, whatever. Plus, you got to watch your career flame out. But this, right. this stuff is cool. This is I love Trainwreck TV. They she need more is, Trainwreck uh, TV. They're not they're not ready to commit to Trainwreck TV. By the way, they kind of they flirt with it here and there, like uh, the Danny Bonaducci show and stuff. But that had to be done with a therapist and rehab and stuff. They can't not, just be. They can't just pure totally commit to Trainwreck TV and allow this to happen in front of your eyes. We're getting there, you know, with mm -hmm. the Paradise. And thing. now that Bonaducci's kind of cleaned up, I don't want to watch it. Yeah, you want to see him self-destruct. I don't know what happened to the last episode. I thought that was going to be on last night. He was in rehab. His wife visited, and they weren't sure if they were going to continue with the relationship. I actually watched the Peter Brady one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Fair Brady. Oh, my God. How corny was that? It fucking went on for fucking ever. The end of My Fair Brady? <laughs> He, yeah, I, he's absolutely insane. Christopher Knight actually uh, proposed to, he did. to that hot piece of But I didn't uh, think he was going to do it. I thought it was like that Joe Pesci scene when he comes walking and thinks he's going to get made, and he's yeah. like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh. They made it look like he was actually giving her an apartment, meaning you need to move on with your life and have a life of your own. But then she's losing her mind, like, I, this is not what I want. This is not what I want. And then he goes down on his knee and and But how much shit pops the question. was Peter Brady saying that he could totally relate to? I totally understood what he was fucking going through. It's like, I don't want to break up with you. I want to just stay in this fucking moment. And let's not move on to fucking marriage and all that other horse we got shit. A little, we got a little taste, you know, because they were in here. That is a disaster in the making, that whole relationship. Yeah. Oh my! It might be good for another year or two, but that there's just fuck that. He's fifty. That's the hottest piece he's gonna get. Well, that's the problem. Banger, give her half your but shit. She just <laughs> tell the <laughs> story at the bar. Oh, yeah. half fuck your shit. She was a lesbian pretty much until she met him. There's like all sorts of baggage. Great. Right. So when you get tired of hitting it, then you bring the third party in. <laughs> I think when uh, I think when he falls because of this, it's gonna be a long, yeah. hard fall. Oh yeah. All right, we got to get into paradise. Great way to fall. So the, that, uh, but I did see that last night. I got, I got rooked into that hour-long freaking. Peter Brady finale. is older than Carlin. Peter A lot Brady. of people don't know. <laughs> Seventy, forty. Yeah, he just doesn't dye his hair. All right, paradise. This, yeah. this show was great. We loved it. Yeah, they sent Tara around to different places around the world for oh her to party. Oh my god, you guys! You guys! And she would, uh, she would comment on. Various uh, little tidbits of information about the place she was at. Yeah. History can just come out of her ass. <laughs> uh, you know, she's in Greece. She'll talk about uh, you know, Greek history. Yeah. And if people are doing something exciting, she'll say that she's going to do it the whole episode, and then in the end, we'd be like, I, yeah, yeah, it's I, I crazy. I was watching uh, an episode and just laughing, thinking about you saying that because <laughs> yeah. she she was doing that. She's like, we're going to go surfing. It's going to be so kick ass. We're just going to head out of the beach. There's some like big waves. I heard it's like big waves. that they got like the big boards. We're all going to get surfing down. And they get to the beach. And it's like, okay, well, uh, let's get out there. And say, so, oh, you're crazy. I'm not getting out there. There's no way I'm <laughs> surfing. I'll just watch. I'll sit here on the beach. Oh, God, drink. Drink. Just, yeah, I got to just die. I mean, I said, that guy is like so hot. The best one was when she was windsurfing <laughs> on the sand. Yeah, and yeah. And saying how great it was and how much fun it was. <laughs> yeah, when, when they train people. Going, wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> when they train people to windsurf, the I first thing fell you off do. the earth. But yeah, how do you windsurf <laughs> on the sand and it's actually fun? The first thing they do is put you on the sand yeah. when you windsurf. All right. And it's just that. to learn how to pick the the sail up right. and how to kind of stand on the board. Yeah. And that's the furthest she would go. And she thought that was so much fun. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so much fun. We're here windsurfing on the sand. So, she was in a place I like to call Saint Tropez. <laughs> Saint Tropez. How do you really say it? Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez. Uh, that's right. Saint Tropez. I like Saint Tropez myself. Saint Tropez. So this is Paradise. Uh, show's going away, unfortunately, but bye bye. This could be the last time we do Paradise. <laughs> Life is a dream. Here it is. Paradise. Okay. But imagine having a great dream, having the best dream in your life, and all your friends are in your dream, and guess what? It's not a dream, it's real. The biggest show ever in the history of television. <laughs> like, like, that should have been music. such like a dramatic yeah. like build-up. That almost yeah. sounded like the first time she was reading the copy. Picture of Jay. I, if I say that, 
It's not Sanjay. It's actually Hatay. Okay. Hat -hat. Okay, Tara, I think we got it. <laughs> Thank that, you. That's a good one. We're going to use that take. <laughs> we'll just put some slamming music behind it. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. This is a giant picture, giant. Picture. Boom, 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 boom. It's great, Jane. And you're, you're here, and it's just happening. And all your friends And are cut. Tara's invention idea. Listen to this. Ah. Now listen, I came up with an idea. And, and it's it's honestly the biggest idea I've ever come up with. What is it? I want at least 50% because it's my idea. All yours. What is it? No, I'm not kidding. It's going to make you guys billionaires. Yes. What is it? It will make you billionaires. Come on. Go ahead. Keep going. So far on this trip, I've lost two purses. I lose my bag every day. Where, where's my purse? Do you have it? I have no idea where my yeah. purse is. I want to make a line of bags, purses, that has a chip in it. Tracking device. Yep. Low jack for bags. Yep. I love it. Even hire, like, a, a, like operators that you call up, like, like, on, like, 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 on star. On star, exactly. You know what I mean? My purse has got stolen. Where is it? I love it's it. on Fifth Street and 42nd. We're getting it now. We even have people that in their cars and get the bags. I mean, let's be realistic. You know, mention the people putting a low jack in a purse. It sounds stupid. Every person has money it. is going to do that. Of course. Everyone. Love it. Who thought of that? Genius girl. Who's so stupid. I am the smartest girl. You I all think I'm just a party girl. But I'm also a smart girl. I'm a smart businesswoman. Oh, that, that will make wow. billions? Wow. It's a purse with a chip in it. And you track it. And there's people that just drive around cities. <laughs> Well, uh, operators. Waiting to pick up your parents. Uh, uh, we, we can use the Air Force. <laughs> they <laughs> can just. I mean, I use big radar station and find my purse. They got the they got that chip technology ready, and I'm sure I'm sure people are using it for just chains. that. <laughs> you can beep beep. Like the New York City Marathon happened, and if you had a loved one in the race, you could just follow their Track progress. Them. Yeah, on the internet. Like, oh wow, the they're they're still in Brooklyn, or oh wow, oh, they're crossing go. the bridge now. So they what got the, the fuck are they doing? They so there's the basically technology. a satellite beam. I mean, what kind of stress is that on your body? You're running 26 miles, and you got this fucking beam coming down from outer space right into the top of your head. We're being cut through every nanosecond of our lives by radiation from radio, TV, satellite. All that stuff is just blowing through you. Small little particles, electrons flying through you. Nice. If you could see those, if they were visible, we wouldn't be able to see each other. The air is so so just. Full Can you of say all things. that in Tara? That sounds like a Tara. Imagine, imagine, imagine radio it. waves. Imagine if you will, you're just sitting there, <laughs> and if radio, if radio waves like had color to them instead of just being like clear and like clear nail polish, if they were like red, <laughs> it would be like nothing but red in front of you, and we couldn't watch paradise. It would be an awful thing. I'd be like crazy. <laughs> like like right now, I'm inhaling them with every drag I take on my cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breathing in like radio, radio waves, and I think that's really what's hurting people, not cigarettes. So uh, I got on my knees, suck cock at a party. I, I wouldn't be able to see it because all the radio waves. I think, I'm oh my god! Searching for that dick there's through a, all the radio waves. There's a stiff cock in the room. I, I can't find it. Guys, the radio waves. Oh my god, it's crazy. Oh my god, guys, I have an idea for an invention. It's an idea for an invention. I'm with cigarettes, all right? I'm with cigarettes. Instead of just a filter that filters out like tar and nicotine, well, I'm going to filter that radio wave. So instead of breathing in like radio waves, you can say, and then you can look in the end of the filter, and when you see it's brown, like from the tar and nicotine, you could also like put it in your ear and listen to the radio waves that would have gone into your lungs. And I can still see the cock on, I guess, on it. And then, yeah, it was like, as you're puffing, you're clearing a little space just in case the radio waves get colorful and we can't see anymore you clear a hole like a little glory hole for the cock to come through the radio <laughs> it's my idea we'll patent it I want 50% you will make billion dollars <laughs> you think I'm just a party I'm really smart I'm, I'm a like... genius <laughs> uh, moving on here she describes her friends I love seeing my friends I love my friends so much I really have I gotta tell you the best people and the best friends around me. They're all just nice people. Every one of them are. They always have a good time. They love to play. You know, they're perfect for me. <laughs> yeah, just, let's see if those friends are with you after your career really what, Was there like an ounce of sincerity There was in no of passion at all in her talk about her friend. She was talking about I employees and, like, the, you know, producers from the show. People that will be gone and she'll never see again. When the show's canceled. She's yeah. talking about the people who roll their eyes the second she fucking walks away. Right. My good friends, they are such good friends of mine, and I call <laughs> them friends because they're indeed friends. 
And the upstairs is a half a square that looks over the dance floor. In that half a square, there's an VIP area. So we had half of the whole side of the upstairs that looked over the dance floor. I loved dancing on the pole. It was fantastic. Everyone thought I was going to fall off the pole, of course, but I loved just swirling around on it. It was like in the middle of this wall, like this dancing pole. It was the best party in Santa Fe. We had the time of our lives. She cannot describe anything. I couldn't paint a mental picture of that. It came out like a Picasso. And there's like this thing on the floor and a wall, and the VIP is half of it, and there's a pole, and I was dancing, and people thought I'd fall off, but I didn't. And it was sick. And there was a teeter totter, and a big sphere, and a thing, and it launched, and I went. And You know what the funny thing is? You know, like three feet over, like the Mona Lisa is hanging there, and she totally doesn't even see it. It's like she's seen all this amazing shit, and she's just like, where's the pie? I <laughs> I have an Applebee's in Rome. <laughs> I want to get some potato skin. I want to tie a suck to, I suck to cock in Applebee's. Maybe it was a Ruby Tuesdays. They kind of had the same appetizers. <laughs> I think it was right next to the Le Louvre. <laughs> Le Louvre. I, I had Louvres on the back of my car window once, and they kept the sun from coming in and stuff. And there's this whole big building in Paris that just sells them. There, it's called the Louvre. And it's, it's so much bigger than a Home Depot. It's, it's like it. it's like crazy. And, and, and all my friends are there, and I love them. I love you guys. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You're my friends. We're all <laughs> friends, right, guys? Friends. All my friends are such close, tight-knit friends. Sure they are. Well, that was the end of... Uh... This is Sarah. She's my best friend and my wardrobe style. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Isn't she great? That finishes up her trip to St. Tropez. St. Tropez. <laughs> um, the, the Paris, UK one was the best, though. Yeah. Yes. What was that one we listened to? Uh, no, we just uh, listened to St. Tropez. Oh, I want to hear some... Uh, the some Paris, others. UK, and how she talks about like the Euro Tunnel and all that. Unbelievable. Euro it tunnel. starts with the Eiffel Tower, and uh, I guess she's talking about getting engaged under the Eiffel Tower. If you get engaged under the Eiffel Tower, your marriage lasts forever. It's a, yeah. It's an old <laughs> urban <laughs> legend, but why not? I should make a sign. Will you marry me? <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> guy, Mike from Ohio, a tourist right there, asked me to marry him, and I said yes. We were like, ah, I love it, And that was good. I don't even know who you are, really, but I love Van Wilder. Oh, thanks. I just married Tara Reid. Really. Forever. Empty out the tower, and you engaged. Yeah, no, I don't even know. No, I'm going to ruin my love forever. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, wow, that is just jaw-droppingly <laughs> horrific. How could you take it's that off? Great, I can't I believe it. Uh, he has me. This guy Mike from Ohio. He has me to marry him underneath the Eiffel Tower, and we're going to get married underneath there when they finally finish the thing and put like the <laughs> paneling on it. It's not done yet because it's there. It's just all beams. I wish a rioting Muslim would punch her square in her fucking face. How funny it would be if they lit her car on fire with her in it. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. The Muslims are burning me here in Paris. This party is the hottest party ever. <laughs> I can't believe you shot her. That was my best friend. What was her name? Was that Tabitha? Uh, Melissa. I can't, I can't remember her name, but she was such a dear, close friend of mine. And I lost my purse. <laughs> they, lit it they lit it on fire, but I had a chip in it. <laughs> <laughs> they should put chips in, like, potato chips. Any time you want potato chips, you just hit the chips, and you can find the nearest many machine. Sorry, it's chip in a chip. It's going to be a beautiful, wonderful invention. It's going to make billions. And the chips attaches the chip, and that's what you hold to, so you don't get any of that Dorito stuff in your finger. And it comes up on the navigation system on your Escalade, and it'll come up like, you know, barbecue or ranch or, you know, onion or garlic, potato chip. It'll tell you what type of potato chip you're going to eat. <laughs>
we go. All my friends. It gets better. She's uh, looking for submarines in this next clip. <laughs> Why? <What? laughs> looking for submarines. Let's go on this gorgeous boat and see the most beautiful sights of Paris. The lovely love world we're in. Let's sit here. When in doubt, do it like the French do. What? Is that a submarine? I mean a glass bottom boat, whatever. Wow. Is that a battleship, a dinghy, whatever? <laughs> a sailboat, or what, a truck? If I was ever married to her, I would have to choke her out every time she fucking woke up. The second she said, hey, hey, just... Uh, what are you doing? Go Rear back to sleep, crazy yeah. Yeah. Just watch her eyes shut and then let off, let her breathe. Uh, but she's unconscious. And every time she comes to... Just choke around. <laughs> yeah, just keep choking around. God damn it, that'd be great. All right. Hey. I'll be your tour guide today. My name is Tara Reed. Uh, We're in Paris, and that is the Louvre. Hey, the Louvre. There is so much art in the Louvre that they had to blow it over the bridge to this place. So they kept it very close to the seminar. That's what it is. Once every eight years, the Mona Lisa leaves that place, goes over that bridge, they bring it right through that door, it goes right through that window. Every eight years. Then we see the now it's another museum, right? You guys, that's the oldest brothel in Paris right there. I'm going to work there later tonight. American history. That is the sex of the city bridge where Carrie runs away and Mr. Big finds her. Mr. Big and Carrie. That's a major American moment right there, that bridge. She was wearing her Manola Blonic shoes. Everybody remember her Manola Wow. I don't want her alive. I really... I, I. How did Carson Daly date her? Wow. Just I met keep, that guy a couple times. A cool guy. You, I guess you just got to keep your dick in her mouth. That's probably the only way to survive the relationship. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I was out the other night. <laughs> just keep, just keep it full. That couldn't be... Imagine you're just some poor motherfucker on a tour, and Tara Reid decides her and her camera crew are coming on, and she's the one giving the tour. Yeah, you've been waiting your whole life to go to Paris. Oh, I wonder what that building change. is. Oh, my God, it's part of the Louvre, <laughs> and every eight years, the Mona Lisa, it goes, uh, and that's the episode of Sex in the City. Sex in the City, wearing the mother black shoes. And it's, why? Who cares? Ugh. And the Paris is always so crowded. It's okay. I was just talking about submarine or, you know, septic tank. Whatever. Paris is always so crowded and so packed. So to have it by ourselves and, you know, to see Paris. I mean, we did all these, like, fun, like, silly little, like, tour things. Uh, so we weird. walked through the park, and it was beautiful. There was, like, a carousel. Then we got up, and we went up, like, and walked around the corner and went in this area. And we saw all these great paintings and artists and people drawing. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's 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 the mentality of asking like a third grader. Not even. What did you do on your summer vacation? She should come home yeah, with like, like a picture she drew with crayon. <laughs> you know when they just have like the lines just. It's just a scribble. Yeah. Or when they say draw you and it's just two big eyes and arms yeah. that don't fit. <laughs> and they go to color in your shirt and half it goes over it your goes face. Over the lines and the face and. <laughs> Stupid kids. <laughs> Here she complains about and it. I put some glitter on my macaroni. Um, I made an ashtray with macaroni and gold paint and some glitter. <laughs> I did it all by myself. I made it all by myself. It's an ashtray. And I, as I was making it, I filled it up. Here she complains <laughs> that her drink is uh, too weak. Of course it is. First round's on me, kids. Anything from martinis, champagne, whiskeys, cocktails, liqueurs, beers, and... Anything else you want? What do you guys want? Yeah, the cocktails on the back. 
Avian, no, what do you want, sweetie? Two. Large bottle of water. One, two, three. Four. What do you want, Don? Four. Four, four large bottles of water. Can I get a peach iced tea um, with vodka in it? Spice it up a little. Cheers. They didn't put any, like, they measured the stuff here. It's not even like an American shot. It's like this big. You see, it was like up to here with ice in it. So it doesn't even taste like anything. <laughs> Bitching, there isn't enough vodka in it. Can you imagine if you if she was your girl and you actually took her to Paris and these are the <laughs> comments you were making? You'd be like, I should have taken this cunt to Rhode Island. Oh. She's not getting asked. You could have taken her to Six Flags. <laughs> Hang on, there was a carousel and we had a roller coaster. We should have went and looked at leaves. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we went on a submarine glass bottom boat and we saw, like, a bit, we were walking and there's pretty, pretty, pretty people drawing. Yeah, we, great. We went to Athens and we got some beers and it was crazy. But they were so weak, the drinks and stuff. Oh, yeah, there were some old wrecked buildings <laughs> that we drove through. I was like, what are you taking me to the ghetto? <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. We had it all to ourselves the same way every every other place I got to was all to myself. So it was not amazing. We went to Greece and there's this building called the Parthenon and it's just such a wreck. Why don't they clean it up? <laughs> Fix it already. Fix it's a real fixer upper, but for some reason it won't build on it. I, uh, excuse me, the statue is missing the arms. <laughs> uh, this poor woman, she's got like no arms, and I think it's a statue like to show that handicapped people can do things too. This is an American museum. They had the arms on it, like we really, like totally like complete. I thought we gotta feel like the Americans, you guys. <laughs> We have like whole statues, like Statue of Liberty, arm hat. I mean, she wouldn't even be holding the thing up if it was in Greek. Imagine if it just had one arm. Gee. Where's my drink? <laughs> Drunk whore. Fucking tolerance is ridiculous. She's like, she's, she's in the same fucking watering holes as fucking Ernest Hemingway. She's like, oh my god, it's fucking weak. <laughs> <laughs> you guy. Is this my They're thing? so mean. It's whiskey and iced tea. I mean, come on. I hate, they're so mean. They're mean eels. Oh, my God. Look how bad my hair was. That looks like strings. She's talking about the tabloids here. Looking at pictures of herself in the tabloids. Oh. Why are they so evil? They're just mean people. They're bad to your parents, too. They're just mean. You know what I wish I could do? I wish I could find the editors of, like, inquire of all these people. And all the mean things they do to us, I wish we could have someone follow them around like a detective and take bad pictures of them and put them in the paper every day. And they would see what it feels like. And they'd be quicker to just try to ruin people's lives. Yeah, that's what would happen. Yeah, but she had all of the tabloids in front of her. Yeah, she she couldn't get enough of the tabloids. Yeah. And she was going through the tabloids. I saw this, and she was looking for her picture. Yeah, she loves when she's because in those. Because the, these celebrities love when their picture is in these uh, in, in these rags. Yeah. Without a doubt. Wow. Moving on. We're almost done here. Discussing the Euro Tunnel. My producer just told me that I have to tell you guys a really interesting fact. We are going 187 miles right now on the Eurostar underneath the English Channel. So I just want you all to know that that's why the walls are black. We're in a tunnel going almost 200 miles an hour. On our way back to London, the tunnel is called the Bula Tunnel. <laughs> What's the name of the tunnel? Uh, it's called the Euro Tunnel. Oh, that's hysterical. All right, that's even a funnier thing. We thought, like, you know, in New York City, you have, like, the Lincoln Tunnel, the George Washington Bridge. Here in England, this amazing tunnel is just called the Euro Tunnel. <laughs> Oh my god! You know what I love too. She, oh my god! She's talking about tunnels, and she goes the Lincoln Tunnel, and then the George Washington the Bridge. George Washington Bridge Tunnel. She couldn't think of another. Not the tunnel. Holland Tunnel. Yeah, she couldn't think of another tunnel. I love it. I love the Brooklyn Bridge Tunnel. I go over that all the time. And it's simply we called have, the Euro Tunnel. It's, I don't know why a bridge that connects France and England is called the Euro Tunnel. Why is that? It doesn't have France or England in it. It should be the Franklin Tunnel, or something like that. She thinks it was a play on your tunnel. Like your this is, tunnel. This is your tunnel. It's everybody's tunnel. It's your tunnel. How boring. It's called your tunnel. What a complete 
We're don't. Going, we're going like 700 miles an hour. Like no concept of speed or anything. You're just a fucking... And she gets to go to all these places. I'm so Not fucking anymore. jealous. They're canceling the show. Yeah, but yeah, she got to go. This is it. I think this is the last installment. Maybe there's one more. Like, Look how they, they... Whatever, the Matt Lauer, how they gave him the hacky I'm standing on a beach clothes. Yeah. The baby oh, yeah. blue with well, the khakis. It's, it's, khakis. The, it's time for where in the world is Matt. He's on Easter Island. Oh, my God, we're here on Easter Island, and I just ran into Matt Lauer. And there's a bunch of, like, rocks with big heads, like, carved in them. I got the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Where, can we get a Mai Tai here? I hear they have good Mai Tais here in Easter Island. Why is it called Easter Island? Why isn't it called, like, Thanksgiving Island or something? I love holiday, like, uh, names of holiday islands and stuff, like Tara's Birthday Island. It's such great <laughs> We're here at the pyramids in Egypt. We're about ready to get a scorpion ball. <laughs> I like so fucking wasted. Yeah, you know, I can't find the door. <laughs> oh my god! If, 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 if a mummy came out of there, I would like so free. <laughs> you guys are my friends. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna take my top off. I'm gonna get some really good sun on here. <laughs> oh my god! Can you like slide down the pyramid? Oh yeah, awesome! They feel like a water slide up there. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. That's my idea. Show today. I'm gonna do it. That's my idea. Give me fifty percent of it. You think I'm some dumb whore? Oh, she's a genius. No, I'm not going to slide down that thing. I'm not going to. You can't. I'm not going to do it. That looks dangerous. You guys, it's crazy. It's crazy. That would be insane. I'll let my friends do it. I'm not going to do it. Some people are suggesting they could have just taken her to Epcot in Disney and let her loose and like, yeah. we're here in the France Pavilion, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here, and in like three minutes, I'm going to walk over to Japan. You know what? It really is a small world after all. It is a small world. <laughs> we're going over to Ireland, and I'm going to get some Guinness, and then we're going to Japan, I'm going to drink some sake, and then we're going to Mexico for some tri-stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I saw you, and just saw you in France. <laughs> we're here on a monorail and we're doing like 10 billion zillion miles an hour <laughs> why can't you drink in this fucking joint <laughs> on the instant feedback a lot of people pointing out that she said glass water boat glass water boat <laughs> oh. can I have a Walt just, Disney on ice she's just saying whatever she sees right. yeah. is this a glass water fish boat <laughs> glass water fish tree boat I got it. Is this like a, a, a car rubber plastic? <laughs> you're just like, like you don't, you can't see anything because it's all flashes. So you're just like, like it's like blinding. You know, you're just like, and you see spots everywhere afterwards. You're like, you know, like hi, like you look like a retard. You don't know what's happening, and everyone's, and then they get mad at you too when you're not looking in the right angle for the camera. You're like, Ugh, you know. That's her describing the red carpet. She's on the red carpet. Oh, the red carpet. Is it any wonder her titty was out that long and she didn't notice? Like, yeah. Now I believe she didn't notice. Yeah, but you know what's funny? At first I thought it was a publicity stunt, like, hey, this will get me, uh, get people talking, but uh, now I believe she just didn't notice. Not like I thought she was a genius beforehand, but I mean, I thought she was like, you know, moderately intelligent. You can just never tell until they they, they do. Until they're babbling like this. Oh my God, you guys, you know, they belong to an exclusive club that we just don't belong to, and now they're coming for your Social Security. <laughs> <laughs> Carson Daly's looking pretty good now. Yes. A lot of people, when he uh, broke up with her, what are you thinking, Carson? Yeah, what are you, you know? thinking? Now we all know uh, what he was now thinking. we all know. He oh, saw my this, God. He saw this first. I got to wake up you in the get morning him in with here. this. See how the fuck he went out with her for oh. You going to marry that? Woo. Rise and shine, sunshine, rise and shine. <laughs> Here's my Carson, baby. Wake up, baby. Wake up. What do you do? What do you want uh, for breakfast? Mimosas or bloodies? What are we drinking today? Cigarettes still going from the night before. <laughs> She's putting cigarettes out in, like, crepes from room service. And stuff. <laughs> just this no-class whore in the hotel yelling at the fucking poor guy that brings the room service. But I asked for the omelet, a uh, Western omelet. Fucker, where is it? She's <sighs> breathing smoke breath. She wakes up in the morning, hasn't had a cigarette in hours, and the first thing she exhales is smoke. <laughs> she can blow smoke rings after not smoking for hours. My brother dated a girl one time, and they were standing. It was like right at like dusk. You ever see that when the sun and the moon are out at the same time? Yeah. yeah. And she's like, "What? How can they both be out?" <laughs> I literally that? thought it was the same fucking thing. And he just went like, oh, my God. How could that work if we're, like, at the center of the universe resting on a tortoise's back? <laughs> How can the sun and the moon... If we go to the... We're going to take the glass water boat 
and reach the edge of the earth and look at the sea serpents. <laughs> the world is flat. <laughs> and Christopher Columbus discovered America on the three ships, the Manny, Mo, and Jack, and it found, like, the founding youth, and now we're going to go look for something, and that's how they invented Columbus Day. <laughs> I hate to say it, guys, but uh, this could be the last Tarot Ice Club. Oh, damn it. We've had fun with this We show. had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun with this show over yeah. the last few months, but uh, this could be it right here. It's very short. Short clip. It was wild. It was a really cool crowd of uh, London and, you know, everyone had fabulous clothes on and crazy makeup, and we just had a great time. It's always just about it's having the, a great. It's time. the exact same description. Anything, anything shows. Every day is awesome. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I love you guys. First. Someone's suggesting they probably were telling her the speed in kilometers per hour that she was in, but just couldn't understand. We're doing like two hundred somethings. She probably couldn't understand the concept of k <laughs> over miles per hour. <sighs> I love it. It must be so fucking cool. To go through life like that, like it, it just it, has to be the she best has, thing yeah, she has ever. No worries. No it's just where's the next party? Where is it? Where is it? Those titties are like a backstage pass. She just oh, yeah. all access. Yeah. Never had to learn anything. Nope. Oh, what are those uh, pictures of her uh, having sex? Yeah, what movies? Let me see that. Body shots. Body shots. Could you turn yeah, the you screen go. a little? Yeah. yeah. Some uh, sex scenes from body oh, shots. Oh my God, you guys. Very nice. Dude, how well is that fat Very kid nice. from Stand By Me doing now, huh? Yeah, Is what happened? Rebecca Romaine. Oh, the pants taken off. All right. Tara. Too naked. much him. Not on, oh, there you yeah. go. There you go. There you go. Very nice. They're flapping around. That's uh, before the uh, before implants. The implants. Oh, yep. boy. Bam, wow, we're bam, really ending bam. the show? Amazing. How did that happen? This show flew. Oh, that's too bad. Let's say hi to Mandy in North Carolina. Mandy! Let's go to McDonald's. At least Ronald won't be playing with his pecker. Uh. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, I already we'll said mine. Go to mine. the phones. Oh, no phones. The... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a good tag yeah. on that show. say, like, with, um, with a big pecker or something after it. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Learn from the master. Yeah. Yep. He yep. learned from the best. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> you damn skip. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Plow right through. Yeah, fair enough.